Kia ora, no mai, hari mai. Welcome to Devonport Domain here, Tamaki Makoto on the north shore of Auckland. Round five, day one of the two day Headley Health competition. Between the home side, North Shore, and the visitors, Eden Roskill. Eden Roskill, they won the toss and elected to bat. The uh, pitch is. It's an interesting one. Groundsman's uh, had a few troubles. It's the first ball to Vandenberg. Plays this off his pads and just back to the bowler. Vandenberg, bit of an attacking 18 year old from Mount Albert Grammar is the second ball to him. Drives, finds mid off. Sway. Two slips, gully, point, mid off, mid on, and a mid wicket, as well as a fine leg on the boundary. Next ball then drives, but only finds mid wicket. So Roy Bessel bowling from the other end. As this one's driven up and over mid on. Strong attacking shot. And it's all the way, six runs. First run's the maximum. Off the bat of Vandenberg. Nice hot sunny day here on the North Shore. What's Bessel got in reply? And good leave there from Vandenberg. Next ball back of the length and left to line. Ends the first over. Even Roskill having won the toss and electing to bat. They are six without loss. Will Clark to bowl the second over from the broadcast end. A couple of bowls returning for both sides um, that have had a layoff. Um, Yaya Zeb back into the team 
uh, at, for the Eden Roscoe Pro Water Blasting. Well, Ronnie here uh, has come out of retirement after a couple of seasons off for North Shore for more uh, former Black Cap. First ball is Swam Desai scored a 50 last week against University. It's just down it to mid on. This one just fended from Desai back to the bowler. It's got a good solid 70 on what was a bit of a road at. Um, Colin Maiden Park. As this one's up and over mid on. And both batters will open their account with a with a boundary. Ten without loss. If you got to walk in the front of the camera, can you do a dance or something, you know? <laughs> Make it look interesting. The highlights and uh, photos posted to Bev's Broadcasting official Facebook page in coming days. It's a link that you can uh, copy and paste in the description. I'm trying to play catch up from a few months ago in regards to highlights. Fortnite where I managed to do 15 games of cricket in 14 days without my proper laptop so not as easy to do highlights. It's the next ball from Clark. Bowls wind up from Desai and well fielded there an extra cover. Hobbling a little bit, might have copped him on the foot. As the next ball down the wicket goes Desai but just plays this to cover. Clark's got a first slip and play point cover, mid off, mid on, short mid wicket, mid wicket on the boundary. Yeah, there's this quick glove work there. Ends the over, 10 without loss. Bessel to continue from the other end. Two slips in the gully in place. Right arm over to the left hander. And this one's skewed out but, uh, behind. Square on the leg side, they'll pick up one. Bit of a missed time shot from the 18 year old, Vandenberg.
Me here, you've got to do a dance, say, if you're going to walk in front of the camera. You should just note that uh, actually there's no problem, especially being in a public area, of people uh, walking in front of the camera. I'd set up the camera elsewhere if um, I did. It's decided to face his first ball from Bessel. He just plays this on the crease. Congratulations to Australia winning the selling the T20 series against the Black Caps. This is out to cover. And a thumping 72 run victory against uh, at, uh, Eden Park last night. Game three of the T20 series taking place at uh, same location. Tomorrow afternoon. A reminder it's not an evening game, it's a mid afternoon one. This is a peel for caught behind, but uh, no movement from batter or umpire. Might have just brushed something on the way past. Looks as though it's come off the pad there. Two slips, gully, short third man, point, short cover, mid off, mid on, and ends the third, 11 without loss. Will Clark to bowl from the southern end, or the broadcast end, or the, uh, we're going to call it the harbour end now. As Vandenberg wipes, winds up, goes through square leg, and four runs. Moves to 11, 15 without loss. Got a magpie floating around that you could probably hear in the background. Don't think uh, Will Clark would mind it too much, the batter going after him. There's a bit short mid wicket in play for a miscued flick to the leg side. As Clark bowls with this one's down leg. Might be a couple of league buys here. The chase going on. And now it's just buys beating everything.
Next ball from Clark and winds up from Vandenberg. Player down there waiting and takes the catch. Taking it long on. Simon Keane underneath it and it's 17 for one. Cheers, fella. Cheers, Aaron. Said much to bad to the crease for Eden Roskill Pro Water Blasting, the coach, the player coach for the uh, Premier side. Left handed batter replacing left handed batter. Looking one driven, straight takes to cover though. Got me comments or questions, folks? Uh, put them in the live stream. Get round to them when I can. I think just played at the crease. Ends the over. Successful one for Will Clark. Dismissal of Damien Vandenberg and it's 17 for 1. Super Rugby Pacific 2024 kicked off last night. Chiefs, Brumbies and Hurricanes all having wins. Wasn't able to eat, watch any of it unfortunately. As this one's fucked off the pads. Ends up on the offside though. Bit of a leading edge. Vessel continuing. Takapuna end. This one's driven. Beach short cover. And there is a cover in place though.
Hey, this from there. So I clipped off the legs. Might pick up three. And no, it has reached the boundary. Four runs. Dealing most in boundaries. It's the fifth one. So far this morning. one from Bessel, but fuller this time and straight up, bit of line if you walk in front of the camera you've got to do a dance or something you can't just, you know, walk yeah, oh, yeah no, actually I'm a bit too zoomed in, they saw your hands move at least, thank you Next ball played at the crease. Yeah, last night I was live streaming and commentating. Uh, guys, a Premier League, guys, a cricket club, um, a club based in the city of Rotorua. Um, after last Saturday's play, there was a bit of critiquing going on about the bowling action. This is going to take a short cover. And uh, ends the over. 21 for 1. Over. Then last night I decided to get out behind the camera and um, have a bowl. It's Will Clark to continue from the harbour end. So much to up. But, uh, have to say the guys are guys enjoyed my bowling. Two overs for forty. Gerard, I, I, I did say I bowled to a plan. It, it actually made the game more interesting. The margin was seven. See, if I bowled two very tight overs, the margin wouldn't have been that good. Yeah. <laughs> As I'm going to run three points. And boundary once more, four runs. Some positivity being shown here from the Eden Roscoe Pro Water Blasting batters. Not bad, mate, yourself. Being a two-day game, there's um, different rules and regulations. You get 0.01 to your total points for every run you score. Yeah. And you get 0.25 for every wicket you take. Okay. But though that's only in the um, first inning. Okay. Yeah. So even though, um, just as a gentleman ask about uh, whether you have to declare in so many overs, no, you don't. But clearly, you do want to bowl at some point. Yeah. All right, Just I'll a poor defence from Mushima, no problem, sir. I'll be back to watch Riley bat. He's, he's an entertainment package. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> most, most keepers are, aren't they? Most keepers are. <laughs> this one just played to cover. Last week I was live streaming and commentating the same two clubs, but in the reserves. Reserve grade. I do have to say that Riley Mudford uh, was mentioned by a few players in the reserves team as being a bit of a character.
But it's still waiting. No, you can walk in front if you want. There's an appeal for RBW, but it's not given. Enzi over six gone. Day one of the two day competition, round five. Eden Roskill Pro Water Blasting winning the toss and electing to bat 25 for one. Best thing about uh, that bowling last night because there was some positives. Didn't manage to, didn't manage to injure myself. A few comments about that is uh, the first match I live streamed down in uh, Rotorua. Ended up with crutches for the rest of the week because I rolled my ankle. Just uh, having a bowl on the pitch. As this one's th through short third man and gully. And good surface here, it's four. Twenty-nine for one. Desai on twelve, much to on six. Desai just. Shoulders, arms on that one. Cicadas chirping away, because one of the great sounds of cricket. Potatoes, will, uh, leather on willow, as it's played down into the ground and Gully stops the ball. Excuse me, sorry, there is a condition about walking in front of the camera, you got to do a dance. <laughs> you have to, you have to dance, you got to, yep, there you go. <laughs> Oh, did you want to do a dance? Certainly not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, as I've said, look, if I didn't want people walking in front of my camera, um, I'd move. <laughs> as there'll be a couple of runs here. <laughs> to get through cover. It's a score to 31 for one. Got to have a bit of humour in life. Otherwise, it's far too boring. Some people, though, of course, uh, don't prefer to walk in front of the camera. They get a bit camera shy. We've even had that when... Uh, excuse me, when... Um, Girls have been playing on the live stream um, and then come off and they're like, oh, camera, I don't want to be anywhere near that. It's on solid defence. Back to Bessel. N7, 31 for 1. Great to see Crits Cricket being played out here this morning as well. Soft ball being used on the uh, boundaries. Thing. 
advise it's 33 for one. Being told by the scorer that it's 33 for one. As Clark starts again from the harbour end. Right arm round to the left handed Mujtava. One for 14 in his fourth over. This one driven, beats it, short extra cover. Pick up one. Decide back on strike. No, no, you, you can, but you just could do a dance. Oh, that's all right. I'll go around. <laughs> no, look on it. Side screen being changed as the right handed death side back on strike, 14 off 23. Clark changing to right arm round, a oh, right arm over, sorry. This is played down to mid off. Bit of a juggle, actually, they're going to get a single on a misfield there. Bit too casual in the field. Next ball from Clark. Mujtaba just backs away on this one, plays this to point. Slip in place, short mid wicket, backward square on the boundary. Mid off, mid on. Short extra cover, cover and a point. This one's played to cover. Full toss down to mid on, can't beat mid on though. Yeah, the baseball cards, I'd imagine, similar to that. Not that I've ever played it, but... Yeah, but there's also, uh, just talking to someone off here, about a card game I've been given, as uh, best will continue from the Takapuni. Um, it's called the first 11 card game, set up by an 11-year-old in Australia. This one's played at the crease, and can't beat short mid-wicket. There's also um, special cards like block, strike rate, or something like that. You, you, you know, there's other cards that are used for cricket terminology. Didn't have the chances. Uh, too, too much chance to read into it as I was home late last night when it was on the doorstep. But 
uh, I'm sure I can sit down with a couple of people and play at it at some point. As is an appeal, VW, no shot offered. And not given a couple of players with hands on head. Looks like a very good rainy day game. You know, when you're just sitting around. Yeah. With nothing to do. Which, funny enough, during the COVID pandemic, that's what he was <laughs> doing. Well, especially if your number's hungry like some people are. I'm definitely one of those. Right, I'm over to Desai. Desai slaps us, but straight to point. Big appeal again and given this time. They're happy about it, they've got their man. Desai has to depart and it's 35 for two. Offered no shot the second time this over. Actually, no, he did, sorry. And it might have been a question of height. It hit him, seemed to hit him high on the pad, but um, no hesitation from the umpire. Neil Patel to the crease. Probably one of the uh, most consistent batters. The season for Eden Roskill Pro Water Blasting. There's a couple of 50s to his name. At the start of the season, he scored a 50. Actually, he scored 91 against Papa Toei Toei in the one day comp. There's a second ball to Patel, just shoulders, arms, lets it go through. Three slips in place. Gully as well. Big pipes playing in the background is one of the local bands practicing and uh, performing by the sound of it. 
as Patel looking to go leg side with that one but ends up playing it back straight. Ends the over success one again for North Shore. It is 35 for two. Will Clark again from the harbour end. But the first wicket for North Shore. As it's played just four to point. I'll pick up one. One for 17 in his fifth over. Tell's first ball facing Will Clark. Placed a couple in the over earlier. Folks, you can walk in front. Like. And Patel just plays this down to mid on. Just gets a little nice tuck off the hip there. And a loud call of no it comes in. Just a single. right hand combination slip in place and which of it just plays us at the crease you just gotta do a dance though <laughs> now as I keep saying to people if I didn't want people walking in front you yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this time driven and short extra cover fields Tight bowling here from Clark. Well, as I say, the big wind up and short extra cover in place. Busy again. Ends the over. 37 for two. And that might be drinks actually, with the look of things. It's starting to heat up out there. It's supposed to be a hot one. So Eden Roskill Pro Water Blasting <coughs> won the toss and electing to bat. They've lost a couple early off the bowling of Bessel and uh, Clark. It's 37 for two.
Rory Bessel to continue from the Takapuna end, bowling to Neil Patel. And this one just played off the hips. Down to mid on. Just talking to a member of the public that came over to see what on earth I'm doing. Good tight bowling here from uh, both ends, from Bessel and uh, Will Clark, only the two bowlers used so far. Apparently it's quite a spin heavy team uh, North Shore today, includes the likes of um, Ronnie Hera. One more black cap. This is a peel for every W, but it's sliding down leg it's, um, as to where it's heading. Reminder: you can watch these games back, folks, um, during the live stream itself. As Patel's going to get off the mark. Quick single to forward point. 38 for two. Patel on one. Sorry, on two. Mujtaba now on strike on eight. Bessel from the Takapuna end. Apologies folks, just getting a phone call so I'm just going to put the microphone on mute.
apologies, bike bowling again from the harbour end. Good ball there, just a little bit of movement away from uh, Patel, ends the over, Maiden, 38 for 2. Bessel from the Takapuna end, northern end here at uh, Devonport Domain. So this one's just played to square leg. Two slips in a gully in place, backward point cover. Two. Mid off, mid on, and a mid wicket as well as a backward square leg on the boundary. This one just comes out at the ball a little bit there, much to butt. Gets the bottom edge. It's just about 8 off 21. Waits and just lets this one go through. So it's much to bar on strike. No one from backwards square on the boundary through to um, a mid wicket. Leaving that leg side open as this one's flicked down to deep backwards square. We'll pick up one. For a nine, as Patel waits. Just shoulders, arms at this one. Auckland University batting first at uh, Kenmonda Park against Suburbs New Lynn, 57 without loss. Takapuna batting first against Cornwall at Cornwall, as this ends the over, 39 for two. Takapuna, 35 for three. East Coast Bay is away uh, to Parnell, they're 62 for one. Will Clark from the 
harboring. What do you think of it, Joe? Yeah, looks good. Yeah. Uh, As I said, I just need to sit down and actually go over it. Provide nice stats. Actually, I got a stat for you, but it's not a good one. Someone beat Damien's uh, 20, 21 ball 50 the other the last week. I can't remember who it was, but it was in a two day game. Yeah, you know, in a two day game. Two day game, okay. And uh, got a 50 off 20 balls. She'll have a look and see who it was. Yeah. This is in Premier Grade, and actually I've gone back to the start of 2021-22. And for one day games, he still holds the fastest 50. Okay, that's good. As I said, this was in a well, two day game. Talking about Damien Vandenberg, folks. First look at full today. It's got a great 50 against Papa Toei Toei. Here's all that one's nasty. On a full length and stubbed up, might have even hit the, uh, Riley Mudford on the helmet there. It was actually um, Artie Dudwell that hit the 50, the 20 ball 50 um, against okay. Suburbs New London. Okay. Uh, no, no, he plays for North Shore. Oh, okay. Yeah. That ends the over, 39 for 2. Good to see Armit Dudwell back playing after a couple of years off. Due to injury, brother of Ardy Dardwell, come from the Cornwall and Auckland University Cricket Clubs. This one's sucked off the pads down to fine leg. So pretty good off his pads. Picks up another single. Haven't had a boundary in a while, but it is a two day game. The way. Yes. The Dardwell brothers are twins. Now that you say that, I mean, at least you have a reason to have um, two A's with the last name. Um, Unlike in Northern Districts, you have, you have two K, K Clarks. And, and I mean, with Clark, you've got two ways of spelling it. They're both E's. <laughs> so you can't, can't go K Clark. It's KD and K something else. Cartony and Christian Clark. Uh, down in Northern. Just being reminded that uh, next Saturday is the day two game or day two of this two day game. Gerard, I'm going to hang you. You're going to be hanged for doing that. Yawning. Please do. Has just played at the crease. But then uh, the following week, so in two weeks' time, uh, the two day. Uh, comp for premieres is played across Saturday, Sunday. 
Eden Roscoe Pro Water Blasting taking on Takapuna at home. And then finish off the uh, season with a home game against Parnell as well. This one's full, but uh, well dug out by Mujtaba. Most of it just plays again to in solid in defence. Ends the over, one off it, it's 40 for two. Will Clark from the harbour end. Long right arm round to the right handed Patel. And this one just played down to a bit work out. Put on the boundary as well, a regulation would mid wicket this one a bit squarer. Mid on, mid off, short cover, extra cover, and a point in play as well as a slip. At first slip. Looks as though Ronnie here is enjoying himself out there. Bowling from both ends from the North Shore bowlers. Just the two used in this game so far. This one played behind square on the offside. Pick up two. Probably wasn't two there, but a bit casual running from the fielders and some positive running from the batters. Ends the over, 42 for two. Two off that one. Joseph Moore from the Takapuna end, of the northern end here at uh, Devonport Domain. Last couple of seasons had seven wickets and a good average of 23. Best bowling figures are 4 for 52. 
in the innings. 7,431 in a match. Coming earlier this year against uh, Suburbs New London. Don't pause it. You do have your uses. Yeah, so that's what I was insinuating. <laughs> it doesn't go on quite well in the it's supposed to. Next ball from Moore played down in this cover sweeper fields it on the boundary at point. Single taken, 43 for two. Much of it, uh, sorry, Patel on strike. This one's just played to mid wicket. Patel just comes forward and plays us at the crease. Two balls to come in his first over. Just the one off it. Played late from Patel. Oohs and ahs from the bowler and fielders. Finishes the over and a dot and 43 for two. Clark to continue from the harbour end here at Devonport Domain, Devonport home to the uh, New Royal New Zealand Navy, amongst other things. As this one's up round from Mujtaba, won't be, get to the boundary, but wicket coming round and fields it, they'll pick up two. Cut away down to the cover sweeper. Easy singles here for Mujtaba. Moves the 30, uh, 13 off 39 deliveries. Afternoon to you, VJ. Uh, groundsman at Ken Park in 
suburb, home of suburbs New Lynn. Good to catch up with the uh, new groundsman here at Devonport, home of North Shore Cricket Club, uh, Aaron. through last man stands and indoor cricket as well as a few other things. <laughs> and a pick up two. Might get to the boundary? Yes it does. Four runs, first boundary in a while. And brings up the 50 for Eden Roscoe Pro Water Blasting. 50 for two. Someone's hit down the ground. Mid off stops it. Uh, mid on stops it. Only here are doing the work. Just saves a few runs. Ends the over, it's 51 for two. Eden Roskill Pro Water Blasting having won the toss and elect him to bat. Quick single as cover comes round. Joseph starting his second over, a couple of dots, Joseph Moore, Will Clark nine overs, two maidens, one for 28, Bessel who's been replaced by Moore as this one's whipped round and a deep backward square comes round, they'll just take one. Do they? Yeah, I, th I think so, yeah. yeah. But if you can't do it, it's, uh, it's okay. Yeah, I'll take it to a camera shop. Oh, well, tell yeah. to fix it there and then. With any luck, as this is played behind square, Fielder a bit juggles with it, but. Um, no harm, thank you though. Okay. 
Enzo, a couple off it, 53 for two, just a bit of a building phase here at the moment. Uh, big thanks to Ethan Roskill sponsors, uh, Pro Water Blasting, who's the main sponsor this summer, Reliance Forex, and Barfoot and Thompson Mount Roskill, as well as Speedy Signs. Big thanks to Barfoot and Thompson, who also sponsor, who is also the uh, North Shore main sponsor as well. Was angled past first slip from Mujtaba and I'll just settle for one. Patel waiting. Right arm, right arm round from Clark, and that's just played to mid-wicket. Super rugby action continuing today. Blues taking on Fiji and Drew and Whangarei. As this one's played down to mid off. And a quick single with the shot from Patel. And then it's 7.05. Down in uh, Otipoti, Dunedin. Holland is taking on Moana Pacifica. Clark continuing with the right arm round to the left hander. As much as I just plays this back and Clark does his fielding. One for 30 and one ball left in his 10. Now get a single out to cover. Ends the over, 56 for 2, up to 20. Our, hours play left in this uh, first session on day one of the two day match. Joseph Moore appeals first ball of his third, but turned down. <laughs> Amazing shot. The, um, yeah, yeah. the guy that uh, looks after this area, this is mm. um, in a place called Kaipaki, which is five minutes from Hamilton Airport, right. is uh, oh. John Parker. Oh, right. My Do you name know is David Barker, but not Parker. Ah, uh, oh, Barker. Yes, David oh, Barker. Fair enough. Yeah. As this one's played off the back foot, through backward point. There was a deep point in play. Do you know the name John Parker? Uh, no, I don't. No? Uh, yeah. His second to last game for New Zealand was oh. on the 1st of February 1981. Oh, really? Yeah. Do, do, you know, do you know what happened that day? Oh, I don't. No, nobody does. No, well, you guys have got the memory for the details like yeah. that and the names. Of so, 1st first, first of February 1981 was the underarm. You ask me who was third in the work bread around the world race, I'll tell you. Well, I used uh, to watch the old whip bread. I name all the crew on the boat, but uh, not what happened in the cricket pitch. 
Oh, fair enough. Yeah, but I follow the cricket. I watch it. Yeah. Since I hear the leather on Willow, I come down here. Oh, especially with the cicadas going around. Yeah. This one's through cover this time. Yeah, all the way through. And all the way for runs. I'll show you a photo, uh, uh, one of the most famous New Zealand sporting photos, and John Park is involved in that. Right. Uh, ever heard of Michael, Michael Holden? Uh, no. so in the 70s when they were electric. Blowing, uh, yeah, all, the, all they had was pace. Yeah, That's all fighting, they needed. Fighting them <laughs> I do remember a game as a kid going to Eden Park, which we're not talking about today. No, I've mentioned once and that's it. Okay. Uh, Eden Park went there and Typhoon Tyson was the bowler for England. Oh, okay. And England and New Zealand were all out for 21. All tw oh, a bigger part. Yes. Yeah, I didn't count the a couple of runs through third man. <laughs> but it, it all counts. <laughs> <laughs> Nineteen fifty-five. Yeah, I've yep. only been in New Zealand for five years, four years then. Where are you from? England, Sydney. <coughs> Father moved out here and probably take us to the cricket. Nice. This one's a full toss on the pads, but they've got protection down there. On the single to the total. Drinks coming onto the field to the second drinks break. Ethan Roskill winning the toss and electing to bat first. 64 for two. Got a good partnership between these two at the moment. Uh, Sue, so you were just saying Mitchell Marsh batting without a helmet. Yeah. Um, I've never. Well, just for half the innings. Yeah. I mean, he was batting the way. Maybe they were putting speed bowlers on, so he thought he'd put a crash helmet on. Glenn, Glenn Maxwell did it at the World Cup. Really? When he hit that 200 against Afghanistan. On one leg, yeah. he wasn't. He wasn't even wearing a cap or a hat. No, no, no. Yeah. Hardly recognised him actually with <laughs> the helmet. Okay.
Matt Strain, the uh, first bowling change here at the Harbour End, replacing Will Clark, 1 for 31. Right arm over to Patel, this is Patel's just signalling for a um, change to the sight screen. Warm conditions here. Actually, I might just see if I can change my camera at the moment. It's a bit of a shine off the um, off, off the uh, cat car in the background. It'll be gone in three minutes. That's just the sun angle. Yeah. yeah. No, it'll hurt. You'll, you'll know it if you get hurt. Yeah, you'll wake yeah. up in hospital. <laughs> a couple of days later. You can walk out as far as the white line on the ground. See where the flags are? See those the little flags? Yeah. You can get, well, you can get close. I should have taken pictures of this equipment. Different than our equipment in baseball. Oh, no, very different. Um, oh, it's not always played differently, but it is different. It's played very differently. And it was, no. Cricket and baseball are the two sports you could say are similar, but they're not. No, I, I, I learned yeah. that on our very long Melbourne cricket field or grounds tour. I learned a yeah. lot about Sir something Bronson. Like oh, Bobby. Donald Bradman. That guy. Yep. I have pictures of him. The, the greatest, greatest cricketer of all time. Oh, look at that. No, I it's a single that. down to mid wicket. Actually, they've come back for two. He stopped it. He stopped it on the boundary. Do you want to touch it? Yeah, right. Over. Over. Yeah, you come over. Do not. MZ over. Two off the last. It is 66 for two. Sorry, sir. Well, no, I was just going to say. Just I was going to say to her. Do do not bowl around along the ground. <laughs> do you remember? Yeah. He, do you remember the? Oh, how long have you been in New Zealand? Well, I was replayed oh, what? that incident. I didn't even have a television then, but I remember seeing it replayed and replayed on the radio. The, and, uh, that, that's not legal, though, <laughs> Brian. I think it was. was it no, it was legal at the time. No, I yeah, just no. just saying that wasn't a legal delivery. No. <laughs> we were just saying, don't no. bowl it underarm. <laughs> no. A couple of runs behind square on it the offside. Like. Oh, it's just one actually in the end. 67 for two, the score moving along now. Yeah, it's going all right, we're up there now. Do you remember the old instant Kiwi ads? Uh, From the 90s. Uh, how old okay. do you think I am? I was, meaning, I was meaning 1990s, not 1890s. <laughs> There's this one angle off the bat, down through third man, Gully giving chase. And they'll pick up two. They're real athletes now, these guys. No chubby ones out there. Oh, well, you, you know, you've got Rakim Sterling who plays for the West Indies, the tall spinner, and he's, um, chubby. I was going to say, he's not the skinniest. <laughs> I remember in the, uh, I think it was the 2007 Cricket World Cup, yeah. um, the Bermuda captain at first slipped taking an absolute screamer, yeah. and he was he's about twice the size of Rakim Sterling, uh, yeah. uh, not Rakim Sterling, that's the footballer, um, well, as this one's edged it up and over, back foot, short fine leg, and will be four more, a little bit risky from Neil Patel, but uh, Boundary's a boundary. Couldn't confuse Rakim Sterling for being um, a bit overweight. He's as fit as anything, the uh, Manchester City oh, striker. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I, I think that's what he does. <laughs> that's, that's <quite laughs> true, yeah. I know he's a footballer at least. Backs away on this one. Just plays this to backward point. Forward point comes around. Can't prevent the single. Six 
74 for two. One ball left in the 23rd over. Day one of the fifth round of Headley Howarth competition. And this is just play two point. NZ over 74 for 2 in Roscoe Pro Water Blasting winning the toss and electing to bat. Ball and Patel just plays this down to mid on. And down the ground and all the way, six runs. Big shot from Neil Patel. And they're starting to get a little bit of a move on here. My partner did those. Is he? Uh, no. She? See? <laughs> Not that it matters, but. <laughs> uh, Raheem Corm Cornwall is the West Indian bowler I was talking about. Oh, okay. I've had a phone a friend that's turning in um, that's just text me. Oh, right. Well, right. Raheem Sterling, yeah. Uh, Cornwall. Yeah. Raheem Cornwall is the uh, spinner. Gotta just fix the uh, camera, try and fix that camera again folks, um, I'm quite aware there's quite a bit of glare coming off uh, one of those cars in the background. Right over the batsman's head. I think if you move the tripod, the whole camera over, then the, get out of the... Side. You know, the, no, I'm actually going to go the other way, I'm going to go more towards you. Oh, okay then, no, then. bring it round there and, and it'll be gone. With, with yeah, luck. I'm surprised it's still there. It's there. It's only a few minutes. There's, some... There's a um, club ground in Hamilton, e Hamilton East that I like playing at, but um, you can have those problems. Oh, there's a misfield, just a short cover there. To pick up one. I'm not going to put it there, don't worry. No, I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to leave it there. Well, you're going to fall over it. Well, I went to Rotorua for the first time in three weeks last night, and, uh, well, when I say first time in three weeks, um, it's the first ball of the new ball. It's the first ball of the dot. Ends the over. Only one for two. Um, first time in three weeks, I haven't injured myself yeah, or injured my car or anything like that? It's gone. It has moved, hasn't it? Yeah, it's gone. Well, the, I mean, the flash yeah. is gone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move the tripod back then. That was a waste of time. No, no, no. It'll still be there when you move back over there. It's just the angle. Physics, my You friend. reckon? It's just simple physics. The laws of light. Yeah, I was never good with science, to be fair. A bit crooked. Yeah. Still playing with the uh, tripe, the pixie, sorry folks. And shows got more to continue. Tilt the left hand side up. More, more. No, left hand side up. Pointing Single more. Now. That's what you mean. A bit more, a bit more. It's high on the right hand side. Yeah. Okay. 
falling up hill. They're not getting in front of that. No, no, you're, no, you're right if you stand in front. Just, well, if you walk in front, it's when you stand in front. You stand, it. stand and start making crazy. I don't feel like they're cheering. When does the cheering happen? The screaming. Oh, uh, when there's a wicket or a boundary? I need a wick. I need that to happen. Well, no, no, we don't. <laughs> we don't want that to happen. No. Sorry, wrong team. Wrong, wrong team. You guys <laughs> might. <laughs> Oh, yeah, now I've lost the signal. Have, Sorry, folks. We have no skin in the game today. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, folks. I'm trying to fix those, this issue. Still some dots that are being bold. Some good line and length. Yeah, you don't have to run if you hit it. Does anyone hit it to the... Oh, over those trees back there. So there, yes. Yeah. I wonder they've never hit the windows. Oh, wow. They have. Oh, they have that. Oh, oh. The oh there's another pitch oh. further over. There's a pinch of run. Bit of a chance there, but only a half of one. We call them nets. Practice nets? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, batting cages. It's, it's our same, batting same thing. Same couple here watching from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. We're, we're season ticket holders of the Pittsburgh Pirates. They've been around. Well, some people think so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was going to say, I haven't overly heard of them. Oh, but they were one of the first World Series, but that they were best in the early 1900s. Well, I was actually going to say that Pittsburgh was the original capital of the United States No, America. that was Philadelphia. Oh, 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 oh. That's pretty good. We do not, I mean, Trust me, most Americans wouldn't want to walk between them. Most, most Americans it's a, it's don't quite know a walk. Philadelphia yeah, about was... Hunt, about uh, 100 a, so about a little under, four, maybe 350, 400 kilometers. Yeah. 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 Pennsylvania is pretty long. My geography is poor. To be fair. Closer to 300. It's about 180 miles. All right. Four, 400 kilometers. Two bumps in the way, so. My wife's great-grandfather lived in Pittsburgh. His name was George Westinghouse, the inventor. No, no way. way. Really? Really? That's how good that name too. Yeah. No. Yeah, he your was. That's your royalty. Your wife's great-grandfather Yeah, Yeah, great-great-grandfather George, and I don't know what generation she is now, but she's a direct descendant of that wow. family. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, He's we very famous. Yeah, we've got a museum in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. yeah, a museum. There was, a, there was a company, many companies named after him. Yeah. Yeah. Punch a single down to cover. Are you guys doing a play-by-play? -play yeah. Play? yeah, no, I'm we doing play-by-play. Are, play. are yeah. we on the radio yeah. right yeah. now? He's no, excellent. on YouTube at least. He said, <laughs> he, he said Pittsburgh people from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania watching. Oh We've been introduced. Gosh. We've been properly introduced. You think it's going to go viral? <laughs> Oh, I, I, I only want it to go viral if it's good. I've, I've been viral once and, and, and it, it wasn't. wasn't. It wasn't a good thing. <laughs> I was wondering what on earth these people were talking about TikTok because I'm not on TikTok yeah, and they showed me this video are. and I go, yeah, I wish I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You guys have been very fun to talk to. Yeah, very really helpful appreciate Oh, look, it's a great game. It's actually the second most popular sport in the world behind, uh, well, you guys call Football. it soccer. Football. Who's ball? Who's ball? That makes what? sense because there's probably a lot of English descendants. Right. <laughs> well, there's still a golf club called the Philadelphia Cricket Club that yeah. started. Good to have you tuning in, uh, now J has one of the top Jude Roberts, probably golf courses in the world. reserves betting. Yeah. Philadelphia, yeah. yeah the Philadelphia cricket I am just trying to play with the uh, camera here, you sorry play folks. Cricket, play cricket in Washington, D.C. There's cricket fields in Washington. Why are you so good there? That's, I think I saw cricket. I wasn't sure what I was seeing. I'm pretty sure it was cricket. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, it's just a two day game. So That's it's a man. You know, my boss is a bit, a bit of a hard one, I can tell you that. Should state that I am my boss.
Sorry folks, just going to mute the microphone. I'm trying to update the score as we go, but um, just trying to fix this video issue that I've got. All right. Um, yeah, it's gone. Oh no, now it's oh, gone. That light's been. gone. I've managed to put the uh, camera back where it was, and it seems to be behaving itself. So I do apologise, folks. Uh, bit of a one-man band. It's uh, Eden Roscoe Pro Water Blasting 90 for two now. I'll pick up a single. Someone told that car to move. You didn't even, I didn't even see you move. You managed to do it. We'll have a look at both reserves teams' uh, progress today. North Shore losing to Eden Roskill last week by an innings and four runs. The Premier Men's Reserves major two-day competition. First ever completed match I've ever live-streamed of cricket. Um, well, in a two-day game, you know, and an innings victory. Wow. I've called a double hat trick in my short career of five years. Called a tied game. Called a over that went for thirty. And the, the over the batter got a juicy full toss, and he missed out on it completely. I, t I sent him the highlights and said, even I was booing you from behind, the, you, you know, in my head. Watch some off his legs. Straight forward square and it's... <laughs> I forgot the last one was the six. Well, I'm just trying to help out. 95 for two. Strain in his fourth over, none for 15.
Not just if I just can't push this in front of his pads there. Down to my bucket. At um, a job I was working at, and I said, Do you have a loyalty card? As much as it drives down the ground. And they go, Oh, we do, but we've left it behind. And I said, What's your um, last name? And they go, Thatcher. And I said, Oh, I suppose your wife's name's Margaret, is it? And uh, the gentleman goes, No, but um, more to that story. Cricket ball here from strain, which sure just defends. But my first cousin was Dennis. Oh. And I went, <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know who Dennis Thatcher is, it's uh, Mar Margaret, the Iron Lady's husband. Yeah. And this was a few years after, um, as pushes this through, extra cover might make the boundary. It does, four runs. And we got talking a couple of years after the movie that came out, um, The Iron Lady. 99 for two now. And I um, don't know how the subject changed, but what he said to me was he landed on Juno Beach at 6am. I was like, yep, on D-Day. I was like, I could leave my job now. Yeah. Talk to this guy for the rest of the day. Yeah, till the as, day yeah. As much uh, as you over, 99 for 2. Much as I love my sport, my, my history, and especially war history, is um, up there as well. Yeah, so talking to, on there. Yeah, talking to this guy was, was incredible. No. Well, I was having a giggle with, um, I don't know if you know this arty, artist, but, um, oh. no, no, I can't even think of your name. Woman. Yep. Um, I know, I know her first name was Patsy, she was a New Zealand country singer, her biggest hit was um, Beautiful Lady, and um, I was having a laugh at these three ladies and asked them for their loyalty card and looked at the name on that and went, I know that name. And we're having a bit of a um, giggle and all that and um, she said she was surprised at something, and I go, well, I'm surprised you're not surprised to know who you are. And she goes, I am, actually. <laughs> 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 it was one of my mother's and grandmother's um, yeah. favourite artists, or yeah. favourite songs, was Beautiful Lady. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Patsy Rigger, that's her name. Oh, have they? No, it's under his private player even. Actually, can I just borrow your camera please? You want it on? Yeah. Right. I know who that is. As is edged past short third man. And they'll pick up two, and they'll turn down a third. Ronnie Hero uh, is at the bowling crease from the Takapuna end, from a black cap, been in retirement for a couple of years, but now come out for this one. Slip in place, short third man, as Patel fends us to mid-wicket.
two balls left on the 29th over. Day one of the two day comp fifth round was played down to mid wicket. NZ over 101 for two. So many forms now, they wear yellow trousers and blue trousers and black caps. Red shorts and, yeah, yep. and no clothes. So just talking off here, here to David, wasn't it? Barker. Yeah. David Barker. Um, he's asking me whether you have to declare or not. No, there is no um, mandatory overs uh, you need to declare at. But what, how the points work is that for every run in the first innings, yes. you get .01. For every sing, every run, but you're also encouraged to take to to bowl as well um, as Will Clark continues down to mid wicket. Uh, for every wicket in the first innings, you get 0.25. Oh, okay. So um, it actually happened last week when Eden Roskill were playing um, University. University had got the um, innings victory right. but even Roscoe wanted to go out there and continue bowling oh, right. because I mean there was no way it was this is an hour bef hour and a half before close of play yeah. so there was no, no no way it was going to be a be an outright result um, but even Roscoe wanted to play to pick up those 10 wickets yeah so that's why there's no mandatory de declaration no. uh, point, but y you should bowl <laughs> as well. Yeah. So who makes up these rules? Then? Uh, who so designs the game? Governed by Auckland Cricket. Auckland Cricket design the game. Yeah. And the, the, the playing conditions. And parameters. Yeah. Changing the sight screen, it's still the left hand right hand combination out there. Quarter of an hour before lunch on day one here at uh, Birkenhead. Uh, going with every every other place than where I am, Devonport Domain. <laughs> the I've, I've been saying Takapona, oh. I've just gone and said Birkenhead. Um, North Coast, North Coast. Yeah. Well, it's a bit like when I go to um, Oniwa Domain. Yeah, I keep yeah. saying Oriwa. Just yeah. this real bad slip up. 20, um, uh, 20 miles between them. Yeah. Yeah. 101 for two at the end of the 30th over. I was ground announcing a Ford Trophy, so the local one day you know, domestic uh, elimination final. Um, and Wellington were playing Auckland at what is now the Ken Arts Higher Community Oval. And Wellington's keeper was Lockie Johns. Every time I went to say it, came out as Jones. Right. I, I eventually got it right. <laughs> do, you, do you want to know when I got it right? After the game. No, when he got out. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you follow? Do you follow rugby league at all? Who? Rugby league. Who's he? <laughs> okay. Well, I won't go into my other story about. Um, I went to the Gabba once. Yeah, the wool and gabba. Yeah, and a friend in Melbourne said, come to the gabba. And he said, bring an umbrella. I said, it's going to be a hot day. What do you want an umbrella for? He said, the pies. And they start throwing the pies. 
Oh, so the pies, yep. The pies left. Oh, on you. Fair enough. But you got an umbrella. <laughs> he said it very nicely, like it was. Tell you what, the ingenuity of, of what comes out of cricket is really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like some of the stuff would never come out of any other sport. No, no, no. That's how peculiar cricket can be. Oh yes, this is a half an appeal, but going down leg. No, Karen, you're on the maxi yacht. Lion New Zealand went out sail. Oh yes, Lion New Zealand, the famous 92-93 Whitbread winner. I told, I told you I used to follow the Whitbread. Yeah. <laughs> As much to after this one, through mid wicket, and it's a couple of ounces four. I think I was a bit too young to remember Steinlager too. Yeah, she's, I think was built more recently, and Blakey did win the round the world place than that. Yeah, well the, on handicap and on first to finish. Lion Red was this was um. Ron Holland's design. Okay, no, the one. What was the one with um, Blake versus? Um, oh, the, the English one. No, the two Kiwi boats. They finished first and second. Every, every leg. Oh. They finished first and second. Ceramco got put out of the first leg, Ceramco. Yeah, no, talking about early 90s. Yeah, oh, right. Okay. I think I thought it was Lion Red and might have been Steinlager too. Um, who? Dalton, is oh, who I'm meaning. Yeah, yeah it was right. Blake versus Dalton. Oh, yeah, yeah. But the, ho the whole series. Yeah. It was just the two of them. Yeah. Um, I mean, there were other boats, obviously, yeah, but... Yeah. Forward and plays at this one. Yeah, no, it's a famous. Actually, I think even the one boat, one, e no, might have been, I've got to look it up, but I think Steinlager 2 won every leg. It did, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's down in the basin here now. I'm going out of the 92 93. I'm going out there, yeah, they're all boats now. Ends the over. 105 for 2. Yeah, but if it was Blake, then Dalton chased him yeah. every leg. Yeah. yeah, Dalton was right behind him. And there was a great duel um, Dalton down. Used to sail with Blake too. Yeah. Previously. Over you know, from the harbour. This one's played down to mid off. Good fielding. Just had a message come in uh, from someone who's clearly watching um, about me mixing up where I am and where I'm not, oh. and they they go, you clearly don't lo like being on the shore. Just about. It's played down to mid off. Have you ever watched um, wheelchair rugby? It's a um, Paralympic sport. It, it's been coined chess on steroids. Uh, um, it is. I'll pull up a video for you at some point yeah. um, with how hard they hit. Um, its original name was called Murderball because of how how vicious the sport is. Yeah. Um, I was talking um, with. Arms, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. You've got to have a loss of fu function in at yeah. least three limbs. <laughs> Not counting the head. No, no but well, so, so, depend, depends on the person. <laughs> but that's not counted when it comes to uh, classifying. Oh. As it's played into the ground and the old crowd catch it cover. He's not, a 2004 Academy Award nominated documentary was called Murderable, which was about the sport. Um, followed USA and Canada getting ready for the Athens Olympics, uh, right. Athens Paralympics, right. as that ends the over, it's a maiden, 105 for 2, and the best thing I love about that documentary is it gets to the end with the credits, 
sorry, it's 106 for two. Um, and it says, Canada beat the USA in the semi-finals. Yeah. USA went on to win bronze. Canada lost the final to sixth rank New Zealand. <laughs> it's the only gold medal we've, we've won at the Paralympics in wheelchair rugby. Yeah. Um, Well, 2012 was Even the quite. Boxing, the guy got, got flattened and had to sit down on the ring. Yeah. So they call that sitting down. I remember there being an, an article about how, how it's amazing. We're a very active country, yeah. but we do so well at sports. You sit down, yeah, 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 rowing. cycling, rowing. Yeah. <laughs> There's this one's down the ground, and it'll be for more. 110 for two. Here are none for 10 in his third over. Much more on 39, Neil Patel on 43. I mean, part of yachting is sitting down on as well, depending on, y y y y you know, well, what your activity is. For yeah, most of it, yeah. Much of it just comes and for defends this one from here. Back in the crease, it was fuller and flatter. Probably have time for a couple more overs. Lunch uh, at, two, at 120. And it have been a little bit lazy in the field, uh, North Shore. Pick up another miss, single off the misfield. Where does the term Nelson come from in cricket? Do you know, David? Nelson is now uh, what it is now, 111. Other than the place Nelson, it, uh, what else reminds you of Nelson? Well, Admiral. Admiral Nelson. Yep, Lord Horatio. Horatio. The term comes from that it was believed, because this is a cricket term, um, term to, it was believed that Lord Horatio Nelson had one eye, one arm, and one leg. Yeah, oh, right, yeah. Um, he only had to put the term Nelson yeah, for 111. Oh, Sticks, right. yeah. Amazing. That is what it is. To try and block the wind. Yeah. The wind's getting up. The sea breeze coming in. Not bad to keep things a bit cooler. And most of it is as bad at this one. Here's a, another trivia question for you. Uh, where does the term hat trick come from? Yeah, it's a sp term? Yeah, three bowl, three yep. outs, and one out consecutive. But is it pick up a single down to the cover sweeper? So, how do you score a hat trick? No, no, no uh, so it was no, where, does it, where, where's it, where's it originate from? Guys. Sounds like early Greek. Actually, cricketing it originates from cricket. Really? Yeah. So, um, back in the olden days, when a bowler would pick up three wickets and three balls, yeah. they'd pass the cap round the um, crowd, and the crowd would put money into it, really? and they'd give the cap to oh. the hat to the bowler oh. as a prize. Yeah. A hat trick. Oh. Oh, there's oh. another misfield, but uh, this one won't cost them a run. I honestly thought it would be a footballing thing. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. But no, it's a cricket term. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah. When you commentate a lot by yourself, you you, you got to come up with stuff to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that or watch the grass grow. Definitely. There's this one. Might have just come off Mudford's gloves there. It's a good ball nonetheless. Well, I did a, um, down in Hamilton, uh, when I first started doing this, yeah. and, um, people keep asking me, am I, am I doing it this year, this season? And I go, 
you know how hard those three days were? Yeah. <laughs> I know Brian Waddle used to do it himself in India and that. Um, yeah. Back in the you know back in the eighties and so much. And this one's just past the diving first slip. The face of the bat, much to his scored a few runs that way, and they turned down a second. How about that keeper catch, the Australian keeper last night? I, I was busy. Oh, yeah, I was busy travelling, so I never saw it. One of the best cricket moments I've seen. Ends the over one, one or two. Uh, he was running so fast, his glove fell off, and he ran, and he looked over his shoulder at the ball in the sky. And oh, yes. dark, too. So he looked over his shoulder and he ran, and then he dived, and as he hit the ground, he held his arm out and caught the ball. Wow. Brilliant. Brilliant. And the other fielder that was standing closer backed off the, in the commentary, so you must have seen the look in his eyes. <laughs> People were determined to take it. Well, <laughs> yeah, you know, he's the one with gloves on, so he <laughs> should have it. Well, that's right, that's what he said. They must have decided he's got one glove on at least, and uh, he can have it. So a sprint like that from behind, he had to cover a lot of ground. Too. Yeah, Joe. This is off the pads. Probably have time for maybe one more over after this one from Ronnie Hera. But we are two minutes before lunch. Well, after a rocky start, yeah, losing both openers, um, I'd say more than happy. And excuse my French on this one, but cricket is such a stupid game. All its in intricacies and, as you're saying, yeah. for, for how quickly things can change. Yeah, really. quickly and then slowly. I mean, yep. Nothing's changed now. I've been sitting here. And if you didn't know cricket, if you were from Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, thank you. I was like, I <laughs> know oh, it's Philadelphia. I just can't think where. Yeah. Pennsylvania. Oh, Pennsylvania. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Um, is 180 miles away. Have you forgotten that already? I have. I have forgotten yet. <laughs> I, I did hear you at the time. You don't want to walk that far. Looks as though we will have one more over before lunch. Um, you know, you'd think that this is that there's really nothing happening, but no. it's all, especially in a um, two-day game.
No my hockey my welcome back to De Devonport Domain here on the north shore of Tamaki Makoto Auckland. The team seemed quite settled out there. Had one ball just in a dot. Said Mujtaba on strike. Nearing both batters nearing 50. Mujtaba 41. Neil Patel 44 as Rory Bessel who opened up from the Takapuna end does the same now and much of a drives through point he'll pick up two nice positive start partnership between these two uh, into the 70s Probably here is picked up, just trying to sort that at the moment. It's played to the point for no run. Sorry, just while I'm trying to fix the issue with the wind, it's um, knocking my video around. Sorry about this. Next ball down to mid off. Eden Roscoe Pro Water Blasting, they won the toss and elected to bat first. Lost a couple of quick wickets early on. Setting the ship at the moment for Patel and Mujtaba. As an export to shoulder arms there from Mujtaba. My name is Bevan Jenkinson of Bev's Broadcasting, the commentator. Would have been photographer as well, but uh, just having some issues with my camera thirty six overs being bowled in that first session. Best of one ball left in his ninth and it's full. Goes through the keeper. Nine overs, one maiden, one for twenty two. And after the first over after lunch, it's a maiden. Ethan Roscoe Pro Water Blasting one run six for two. When the camera work, when when the lens wants to work, I've, it seems to have gone on the fritz today. No, but during the week. Oh, I do all sorts. Yeah, I'll photograph. I'll um, I play when I can. I'll umpire. <laughs> I like to keep busy. I started this year off doing 15 games in 14 days.
Bob Clark continuing from the harbour end. It's a short mid on in place as well as a regulation mid on. A second slip as this is through to the left of mid off. And the first runs after lunch will come through boundary for runs. Sell to forty eight. It's hit down the ground and uh, fielded by Clark in his follow through. Ends the over. One, two, zero for two. It's keeping it quite nice with that breeze. Next ball from Bessel Pull Ground and they'll pick up one. Which is about a forty-four. Next ball, Patel just fends us along the ground down to Gully. Have that scoreboard back up in a second in the Headley House Premier Two Day Competition. Day run around the tracks. As Patel off the pads. I get to the boundary, I'll pick up two. And that's Neil Patel, 50. Well, struck at um, number four. And it's one, two, three for two. Tell just plays this next ball from Rory Vessel to cover. Ends the over one, two, three for two. All visiting sides uh, batting first in the Headley House. Round five games. Auckland University one, four, one for two at, at Suburbs New Lynn. Takapuna 98 for 6 against Cornwall 
and East Coast Bay is 181 for 4 at Parnell. Will Clark to continue? From the harbour end. And Mojiba just tries to run this off his face. Gets it down to first slip, but uh, wasn't a chance. for defensive shot. Just playing around with the camera to try and get it off a bit of a lean that it is. Played down to mid off. England overnight in the uh, against India 3.02 for 7 as this one's cut away down to cover sweeper for a single move it no you can't Waits and uh, just defends on the crease. This one flipped off his legs. Good call of no. This was hit well to mid on. Ends the over. One, two, three for two. Bessel's third ball after lunch. Third over is in a raceway, four runs. Bit of an outside edge, but four is four. Which to 49. Down in Ochatahi, Ochatahi Christchurch um, as there will be a single, quick single as well and it is 50 from Said Mujtaba thought I might have had my scoreboard there wrong because it um, it was a late celebration. It was 
great partnership between these two. Three and four at the, the batting order. Vessel from the northern end or the Takapuna end. Closest to cover does Patel. The Notatahi Christchurch, the Ford Trophy final taking place between the Canterbury Kings and the Auckland Aces. Auckland Aces asking, being asked to bat first, 265 they've set Canterbury Kings. Game is live and free to air on TVNZ Duke, I believe. And also TV, TVNZ Plus, the streaming platform. As Patel just pushes this to the right of mid-off. Run 30 for two now. There's all well played off the edge of the face. And four more. Second slip in, a pl in place as well as Gully. And we're sort of drives to short cover. Ends the over 134 for two. Will Clark continuing from the harbour end, right arm round to Neil Patel, and this one driven half a stop by Clark in his follow through, they pick up a single at mid off. left arm round to the uh, right arm round sorry to the left hander slop mid wicket mid wicket on the boundary as well mid off mid on cover short cover a bit deep backward point and uh, cover on the boundary as well Another misfield here from North Shore, cost him as a single. It was a hard chance diving to his right. One more to the total. Much to run to 55 now. As Patel pushes this to the left of mid off. Doesn't get a single though. 
got any questions or comments you can uh, add them to Jude Roberts's comments the uh, North Shore Reserves uh, player that joined me in commentary last week that will end the over 136 for 2some more back into the attack from Takapuna end of the north end here at uh, Devonport Domain. There's this one's let go outside off. Both clubs have uh, teams in the Premier Reserve Men's Major two-day competition. Eden Roskill at home against Parnell. This one's played down to mid on. Eden Roskill batting first, 1-1-3 one, one, for 6. North Shore away to Cornwall and there's no current score there according to Play HQ. As Patel just pushes, as Mujtaba pushes in front of him and plays it to backward point for a single. Uh, these same two clubs met each other in the uh, Premier Men's Reserve two day competition in the last round. Even Roscoe Pro Water Blasting winning by an innings and four runs. Right handed Patel on strike, still a slip in place. That could square, deep square. Mid wicket is, he plays this to mid on. Mid off. Extra the cover and a backward point. He plays this late, he plays it behind square on the leg side, gets through for a one. to 57 Patel pushes this a uh, bit more square as deep square comes round pick up one more Nothing can irritate you when you're spending the day out in the field like a left hand and right hand combination. Ends the over. Yes it does, one three nine for two.
called Clark Continuing from the Takapuna end. This is that down the ground. What? Extra cover. Pick up two more. Four, five for two. This seems to be a bit of an issue with um, Play HQ. The scoring. The scorers have moved away from me. So it's played down to mid on. This is the front of point, and it's Curry going on there, but they'll just pick up one. Should also give hats off to Hajot Jahol, the Auckland Aces contracted player. It's um, playing for Eden Roskill, won his first ever toss today. I thought the roar that they had was that they were batting first. And he goes, no, it wasn't even about the fact that... Yeah, he said it wasn't even about the fact we were batting first, just it was my first one. <laughs> NZ over, it's 1-4-6 for 2, Mujtaba 64, Patel 53. Law of averages say if, it's, um, if you've got a 50% chance of winning, <laughs> you should do okay that the um, number of New Zealand skippers... Taylor McCullum, Fleming. Joseph Moore to continue from the Takapuna end. I just plays this off, off its hut down to square leg. I'll pick up one. Actually, it's the other way around because Neil Patel's the right hander. just backs away on this as looks as though cover moves as they play this down to mid on one more of the total got any comments or questions folks please let us know on the live stream um, as Mr. Jared Roberts mentioned a few things as much of a plays this to point and he's run over the top of it it's gone the wrong way I'll take one. Let's just score along to 66. 149 for two. They have an outside edge down to third man. And a wide short third man comes around. Can't prevent the single. Tell now 55, more into his eighth over, none for 34, and that brings up the 150 for Eden Roskill Pro Water Blasting. Fifty for two. As oh, it's gone down at first slip, very hard chance. Got a hand to it. Mishitab has been uh, playing that shot quite well off the face of the bat. Probably the first chance he's given up. I 
right-handed Patel on strike. He just drives this and beats cover. Extra cover there though. And Patel keep the strike. Into the over. He's 56. More after eight overs. Has none for 36. And has one five two for two. Will Clark continuing and Patel gonna print a quick single at mid off and he's throwing that ball actually behind him as he's gonna try a quick. They get a single. So I apologise about the tech issues folks, just the reception here doesn't seem to be great. Next ball, right arm round from Clark, and much of it just comes forward and defends. Apologise to Will Clark, he's bowled 18, not 8. <laughs> Takes another single, moves to 68, much to bump. By four for two. I think next week, uh, when I cover day two, I'll probably bring out the other scoreboard that's a little bit easier to use. Like a lot of things in life, it's trial, trial and error. This clerk's going right arm over to the right hander now. Gets it down and stopped it short mid on, ends the over. Evan Roskill, 154 for two, Mujtaba 68, Patel 57, and after 19 overs, Will Clark, four maidens, one for 51. Joseph Moore, 8 overs for 36, as Mujtaba just pushes this down to backward point, play on the boundary. Comes in, 155 for, for 2. Magpies trying to drown out the uh, sound of the cicadas going on. This one's just a poor defence. You're supposed to do a dance. Sorry, folks, if you walk in front of the camera. Oh, well, it didn't take a wicket. Like. There'll be another boundary. A lot of those boundaries coming behind square.
Close to 61, the score 159 for two. Interesting little tidbit that I picked up during the week. Uh, the only batter in Test cricket history to ever finish an innings on 299 not out was the late great Sir Donald Bradman. I think there's only been one player in Test history ever dismissed on 299. Player that even my partner's heard of. Another late great player, Martin Crowe. Unlike um, Sir Donald Bradman, though, Martin Crowe, well, that was his highest score, and uh, only one New Zealand player has ever made 300, Bre Brendan McCullum. As much of her moves to 70. 160 for two. At the back of the hand that one beats Mudford with the gloves down the leg side and I'll pick up one Patel not happy for the second that's Clark right arm round looks off the pads this time Kind of square mid wicket comes around. It was a deep square in place, but mid wicket doing the fielding. Two very set batsmen at the moment, 125. As is an appeal, but I think it's flicked off the pads there. Was taking it first slip coming round to the leg side. First ball of Moore's next new over. There's a dot to... How are we going there, uh, oh, Karen? Good, thank you, Ben. Thought I'd come and say hello to you. Yeah, we haven't for the like last few weeks, minutes. have you? <laughs> yes. Nah, it's just been a crazy week for me at work. Oh, fair enough, mate. It's life, ah, isn't it? It is. Gotta pay the bills. <laughs> Something has to. <laughs> Did you watch this video last night that I sent you and the guys are having a good laugh about? Yeah, no, I was about to actually see that and then I got sideswept, but I will be watching it. So was that the game you were covering? It was, well, depends. Depends on what you watch. Alright. This is played back to bowl. Um, if you watch the whole thing, yes I am commentating. If you watch the two overs I pointed out, yep. I was bowling. Oh, you were bowling? <laughs> no, no, I was trying to squeeze the, uh, you know, the... Uh, yeah, everything in last the, night. Yeah, I was trying to reach that two minute of the train. As mark. much of it plays this down to deep square, uh, deep point, sorry, on the boundary. Yeah, I, I've been there a couple of weeks now and just said, is there any chance I could uh, roll the arm over? Nice, good on you. Did you get a wicket? 
Uh, no. <laughs> it was right. none for 40 or two overs. Apparently okay. they thought I'd bowled very well, but um, the figures don't show that, and I can't say I was happy either. I'm all right, yourself? Good, how's the leg? Better? Oh, I was just telling Karen here I was bowling last night. Oh, wow. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Wish I wasn't, though. Wish I hadn't. <laughs> Those hindsight things. Uh. <laughs> Evenly poised game at the moment, Karen. Yeah. Certainly looks like that. Although we've not... Yeah, it's a good thing we've not lost any more wickets. No, it's Would a 130 run partnership at the moment. That's brilliant. Oh, oh yeah, Mooji's on 72. And Neil on 62, fantastic. Ed's the over. Moore's finished his 10. 10th. None for 42. I'm coming to this ground. That's drinks here. Uh, oh, Eden Roskill probably got water blasting and put on another 40. 40 odd run. Oh, boy. Oh, someone's, sure. one of the North Shore players has had a bit of a <laughs> lounge about. Yep, he just kind of just collapsed it up. That's it. I need a break. Well, this is a nice little breeze blowing, at least where we're sitting. Well, definitely with the um, sea breeze, isn't it? Mm. Got the harbour just uh, over the road. Yeah, nothing really. Uh, I think Muji and Neil are playing a really solid innings, eh? Like, they're not, they're not giving any chances to the um, other Mujtaba teams. Mujtaba just had one put down. Oh, did he? Okay. At first, slip, tried that really delicate run off oh. the face of the bat that he does. And gave first slip a chance. You know what they say, fortune favours the brave. Luck has to carry on. So oh, definitely. Cricket, cricket always has an element of luck. Just... And um, great to see Yaya Zeb making a return from oh, injury. Yes. That's right. He's back today, isn't he? He is. Um, Fantastic. I actually had, um, he walked past me and said, G'day, and I said, G'day, mate. And I was just like one of the boys. And I go, hang on a minute, I haven't seen Yaya for a couple of months. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is this his first game back from injury? It, it is. And um, also on the North Shore side, you've yep. got Ronnie Hera, who's been retired for a couple of years, yep. out there playing, form of a black cap. And um, yeah. Amit Dudwell as well is playing, um, who's making a return from injury. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. One of the two twins. Um, Artie, last week, had a field day against Suburbs Newland. Right. 20 ball 50. I was telling Damien, of course, who hit the 21 ball 50 in the one day game that uh, he no longer has the fastest 50 in Prem's cricket this season. No, beaten by one ball. <laughs> oh, that's, that, that's certainly a good innings, isn't it? 20. A 50 over 20 ball? That's pretty good. Well, that was in the two day game. No, it's a two yep. day. Yep. And I think it was 7 6, as they said. No fours, just, oh. just 7. <laughs> I can't remember what he ended up on, but... It's so 48 off boundaries. Yeah. And then, alright, let's run three. <laughs> two. <laughs> looks like Muse padded up. Is it Mew? Yeah, Muse playing as well. Yep. We're just talking off here. Who who was who there, uh, Karen? Yes. It, it, it's funny because everyone calls somebody else by the by the by a name that they know them. That's right. Um, and then sometimes you have to go, hang on, who, who are you talking about? Uh, it looks as though I'm going to say I can't say I've heard of them, but yeah, if, if it's if they make helmets, that's why I've never heard of them. <laughs> <coughs> They're actually quite big in the cricket. Uh, fraternity in terms of sporting equipment, helmets and so on and so forth. This is though Ronnie Hera uh, will continue his bowling effort first time after lunch. Yep. Yeah. 
When did you play? Which year? Uh, around 10 years ago. Is obviously older than Martin Guptill. Left arm spinner around the wicket to the left hander. Is this pushed down to. to Google. 73? Me a cricket. Okay. Um, when I've been doing my stats. Well, this is what it says. His relaxed attitude to cricket and his bowling style has been compared to Phil Tufnell. Yeah, very. Oh, I would say very similar. similar. Mm. NZ over one six nine for two, which to our seventy seven, Patel sixty three. None for fourteen and five overs for Ronnie Hero. He's played for Auckland Northern Districts, Canterbury, and Auckland. Well. Okay, yeah, no, I was just, I actually thought he played for Auckland this whole career, but no, um, I do remember him playing for Canterbury. And in districts. Yeah. Um, so he's gonna... He played one season for Northern, looking at that, and then finished off um, just before COVID, ah. playing for the Aces. Oh. Interesting. As Joseph Moore to continue from the Takapuna end. Actually, while I've got you on commentary, I should remind the uh, listeners that the Richard Jones Trophy final next Sunday, the 3rd of March, this is squirted out to point, uh, will be live streamed by Bev's Broadcasting. Excellent. Who's, uh, who is uh, Between the Hibiscus Coast, or the home side, taking mm -hmm. on Birkenhead. So this is the, the Premier? Premier means Richard Jones, which is the, the bottom eight. Oh yeah, gotcha. Winner of that will replace, I believe, uh, Suburbs New Lynn. Oh. Roskill obviously continues to play next year in the same. Even Roskill, because they lost the semi final to um, Hibiscus, <laughs> will play next season in the uh, Richard Jones Trophy. Interesting that uh, Jeff Crow Cup, which is the top uh, major eight, or the major format. As Patel just plays us at crease. Um, yeah, so the four teams in those finals, two finals, are all North Shore based teams. Both finished third and fourth on, on their respective tables. <laughs> <laughs> it's just played a little bit of movement there, Patel suggesting. Um, Groundsman here has only been on the job for a couple of months. Um, it, when, when you go out there you'll see it is definitely an interesting uh, he's had um, had to work quite a bit on it apparently um, the, the, the groundsman that, that was here um, beforehand didn't know but um, wasn't aware that there was hydraulic fluid um, coming out the back of the roller yep. and he was rolling that into the um, crease. Is that one of your four-legged friends? No. <laughs> no, it's not. I was going to say, I know you have a couple. I know, yeah, we're two. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Ends um, the over, made an over. One, six, nine for two. Sorry, I missed that. Earlier. Seems like they were celebrating about something. <laughs> I think they were celebrating it was a made an over. Ah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Ronnie here, a first ball 
of his new ovaries, picked up a wicket and watched him out back to the crease, uh, back to the pavilion the 77 off the bowling of Hera. And the breakthrough is made. One six nine for three now. Madhu Chakravorty, first ball just tucks us to leg side and all of a sudden there's some energy out there from the North Shore players. Yep. I thought you were going for a walk, Karen. It was a quick walk, wasn't it? It was a very <laughs> quick walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think they're going to be wrenching shortly. Left arm round and just a fourth defensive shot to mid on. Good old. Quite a nice little cafe. Long on in place. Yeah. Deep square on the boundary, backward square, Good wicket. This is left alone. Cover, extra cover, mid off, and point. It's actually, yeah, this is actually quite nice that cafe went in there um, and got it. Well, it's the openers, Desai <laughs> and uh, Vandenberg, who are, who are doing the sight screen work. Yeah. It's played down to mid off. Single turn down there. Ends the over. What six nine for three? A wicket maiden for Ronnie Hera. Has one for sixteen. Joseph Moore could continue talking about the facilities here. There's um, a mountain. It takes about a quarter, quarter of an hour walk up to the top, to the summit. And um, a few World War II era bunkers and all sorts. Apparently there's also a dunny up there as well. Defended, I said earlier in the uh, today that Devonport's also the home of the Royal New Zealand Navy. As Patel just spins us to the leg side.
solid in defence at the moment. NZ over. Back to back maidens for North Shore. Eden Roskill Pro Water Blasting 169 for 3. Ronnie here, after his last over being successful, the wicket of Mujtaba as Madhuri Chakravorty backs away and plays this. Playing in only his second game uh, this season for the Eden Roskill Premiers. He's been um, down in, uh, over in India for most of the season. He had some great stats last season in all three formats. As this leg side starts to take off and uh, is turned back. Bowling all about confidence and rhythm. into the crease and plays it. Next time round and this time just to Ford Prod at it. NZ over. Three maidens in a row. It's 169 for three. Even Roscoe Pro Water Blasting earlier today. Winning the toss and a little quick wickets. Big partnership though between uh, Neil Patel and Saeed Mujtaba broken a couple of overs ago by Ronnie Hera. Now back to a building phase. It is a bit of a flat pitch out there. Uh, 10 mils length and grass. Bit of a misfield, and Patel get a single. Been saying it all day that um, fielding hasn't been the greatest. Have leaked a few runs off the misfields. Chakravorty has faced five balls and hit yet to get off the mark. Places to cover. See one of the uh, birds and pigeons here being chased by a four legged friend. Bit of interest there from Moore and the keeper and slip, but um, Chakraborty doesn't seem too phased by it. This time goes down the ground, up and over mid on, and will race away four runs. 
of water off the mark with that boundary. That's 7-4 for 3. Ends the over, just the four off it. Chuck reporty four, Patel sixty-four. After twelve overs, Joseph Moore has none for six. Uh, none for forty-six. Do you have a listen to this? And for the wind? And, uh, single behind square. Actually, mo might be more than a single. It'll hold it up before the boundary and they'll pick up three. Some great running. This is one nine five. The three now. Have their skates on. These two batters. I'm just going to simplify that scoreboard. Um, having some technical issues today, unfortunately. keep you updated with bowling figures and bowling stats there is a link to the uh, full school card in the description first ball of here is new over hit back to him The broom out does Chakra Vorti down to fine leg and will be four runs. This time goes the other side of the boundary and might be back to back. Now it's going to be pulled in by Joseph Moore. I'll pick up two. Brings up the 200 for Eden Roskill. 201 for three. Chakravorty on 26, Patel on 69, stop there at mid-on. Drives us to the right of mid-off, we get one. Winter's really picked up here at Devonport Domain. Chakraborty on 27. Patel on strike on 69. And just a four defensive prod there. Ends here is 10th over. Is three maidens, one for 37. And it's 202 for three.
Joseph Moore from the Takapuna end. And this played to point. And oh, it's misfielded. It's been an ugly bounce there. And they take one. Navy ladies and uh, gentlemen. We're down here just before doing some uh, exercising. Fake. And as Patel sweeps his, off his pads, but down to. Neil Patel goes through cover and will be four. Moves through to 73. Chakrabody at the other end on 28. Moore's next one just backs away into the crease and well stopped there uh, short third man ends the over 207 for 3 Will Clark back into the attack from the harbour end here at Devonport Domain, Tamaki Makoto, Auckland. Bowling to Chakrabori on 28. It's 1 for 54 to his name off his 20 overs. Four maidens to go with that. Chakraborty just leaves us on a good line. Slop point, cover, extra cover, mid off, long on, mid wicket, and a back, deep backward square. As Chakraborty just goes back into the crease and play, plays us to the offside. The uh, player not easily ruffled. Seems to go about his business pretty easily. As this time swept, caught for two down the fine leg. Deep backward square coming round and they'll pick up two runs.
It's an appeal, but a bit of a release of the release of the lungs. Slops come out of play for Chakraborty. Gone to backward point. Just comes forward and defends. And the other drinks as well, it's nine for three.
bit of an extended drinks break so the uh, umpires could go do something. Half an hour before tea here on day one of the round five clash Kenley Howarth two day competition. Joseph Moore to continue. And Patel just backs away, plays us to point. Big thank you to Eden Roskill sponsors, Barfoot and Thompson, Mount Roskill. Uh, Barfoot and Thompson also North Shore's main sponsor. The other sponsors that uh, Eden Roskill have, Reliance Forex, Speedy Signs, and their main sponsor, Pro Water Blasting. Time to pick up a quick single to left of mid off. Get, com get there comfortably. Oh mate, I, I, I welcome anybody that wants to have a go. Good ball there, hands on the head. So if you walk in front of the camera, it's got to be, a, there's a dance or, you know, you've actually got to put on a display. Yeah. Just a little bit of life in this pitch. Not doing too much, but uh, as this one's quicker and shorter. Beats forward point. And we'll race away four runs. Two, one, four for three. As more ends his 17th over. Two maidens, none for 64. Sounds good, mate. Will Clark, the North Shore captain, continuing from the harbour end. Clark to Patel. Patel plays us to mid on and takes a throw on but easily in for a single. Moves to six, uh, 75. 2 1 5 for 3. Eden Roskill.
couple of changes to the sight screen. They've pulled it one way, realised they needed imagery Jack Brody's asked for it to go the other. This one's down the ground, Call of Weight, with Ronnie Hera. Does the fielding at mid off. A nice forward defensive shot there from Chakraborty. This time up and taken it long on. Hulls out. And Clark is a second. It's 2 1 5 for 4. Here, Raniga at the crease. Dot to end the over. Successful one for all, Clark. Yeah, a bit unfortunate. I just walked in for my walk back. And Hang on, is that twice that. you've done that today? Yes. You've gone for a walk and there's been a wicket? I don't know, <laughs> Karen. It's hard to get good help around here. <laughs> right, I wouldn't go for a walk. <laughs> no. No, well, We'll sit Mudge on you. He's gone for a t walks twice today and he's been wickets. Now me. <laughs> I'll just stay here. <laughs> or maybe not walk anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cricket though, mate. It's cricket. There's always a reason to blame someone or something in cricket, isn't it? Oh, definitely. I was trying to think of the excuses last night. Um, you know, about why I was bowling so poor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, it's just a, uh, it's a cricket thing. <laughs> I, was, I was quite glad that their uh, English, one of their English pros, um, guys of City, yeah. have um, said he was. Well, I actually replaced him at the bowling crease and uh, was having the same issues he was. So. Yeah. So I think it was last week. Was it last week when I think Dave had a game here? The Auckland under nineteen boys played against a Croatian team. Yes, last Sunday. Yeah. 
when you say Croatia, but it's typically. <laughs> well, see, is there a question though, that was most it? of them, because of. Why is it called Croatia? Yeah, I wonder why it's called that. Be Because um, Croatian um, Her heritage, you know, or family, or. Um, oh, yeah. you, you'd be actually quite surprised how big the Croatian uh, community is in New Zealand. Oh, yeah. Um, I know there's quite a few um, older, uh, well Joseph Jovic, if you've ever heard the name Joseph Jovic, right arm pace bowler for Northern Districts ah, okay. in the 90s, 2000s, he was like the first real big Croatian, Croat Croatian um, Background. player, yeah. yep. and okay. they've also put it out there for any uh, Croatian passport holders. Um, that want to play for Croatia because they've got upcoming matches um, mm. to get in touch. They've got to have to play for Croatia. They've got to have a Croatian passport though. Yeah. Playing for New Zealand, Croatia is a tad different. Yeah. Um, they invite the odd non-Croat um, into their teams. Like I was going to cover a game down in Hamilton. Um, this is angled off the bat down to short third man. Um, until it rained, uh, that Angus Oliver was invited. Oh, Angus, yeah. Um, into the Croatian team. Oh yeah. But it was one of those um, one of those weekends we had to snorkel and togs out. Ah. Um, nice. if you wanted to go and play cricket. So twenty third of March last. Games. Last round, yep. And then pretty much season's over. It's season's done. Next, the following weekend is Easter. Yep. Weekend after Easter, first round of club rugby. Uh, are you doing any? Yep, yeah, so I'm uh, co covering. Covering any of these games? Um, Gravity, nice. who I covered uh, last year, premier grade. Um, I actually messaged a friend in the lead up to the premier T20 cricket final and said. When are you back in New Zealand? Because I know he went overseas for for a bit. He goes, um, his back's away. Patel gets his through point, and that should race away for four. Oh, it, it does four runs. What's he on? Moves to eighty three. Excellent. Certainly playing with some dogged re uh, resolve. Typical Neil Patel, isn't it? Yes, he is. And certainly grown as a batter. Is a um. Man for the occasion of any occasion, really, isn't he? He's probably been Very consistent. Um, in Roscoe Prem's most consistent batter this season. I've been saying that for for a while now. Yes. Um, what are the averaging? Sorry, do you know? Uh, not this, to just the season stats. <laughs> right. I'm still trying to um, yeah. add stats for next weekend's one day final. Because play play because play, play now has those. Results, yeah, yes, they do. I just want to do it my way. Fair enough, yeah. Um, it's a bit harder when you've got um, cricket on a Friday night as well. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but I'm also cover a commentator. Sorry, what I was saying about my mate being overseas. He's just come back. Um, but is now living in Tauranga. Mm. So Auckland University Rugby football club uh, looking we're looking for a commentator and I knocked on their door right <coughs> so I could be you're supposed to do a dance folks when you walk past day eh? <laughs> <laughs> everyone can walk past you got to do something, something to stand out you see the Aussie guy he used to walk and stop and drink his beer chug a beer and then walk and stop. oh yeah that was incredible he must have had at least seven beers row row you 29 know? or whatever it is at mcg yeah 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 well yeah, <laughs> he's brought about five drinks for his friends and there's none left when he gets yeah, trying to get back to his seat he's got like a, a couple of million hits because of that a lot of people watch that will clark bowling um yeah so i'll be doing auckland university um in between times as I said, down the ground, too long on. And Mahira Negan catches in. I've got a couple of other things. I've got wheelchair rugby as well. Nice. I had a meeting with um, World Wheelchair Rugby, the governing body, uh, last night. 
as I was coming back from Rotorua um, about the Paralympic qualifying tournament Fantastic. next month, um, which happens to be the last weekend of cricket season. <laughs> so unfortunately, I won't uh, <coughs> won't be doing anything. I'll, I'll be yeah. down in Wellington that last weekend. Neil Patel facing the new over, 2 2 3 for 4. Wonder what's going on with the reserves game? Uh, they weren't doing too good last when I last looked against Parnell at um, Keith A Park. So apologies, I'll try and get that screen back up. I think so holds injured. Oh, he had a sprain injury, I think. Yes, he did last week. He had a sprain, side sprain. Yeah. Fastballing does take a toll uh, on you. It, it does. I, I have to say I'm a bit, um, have a few pulled muscles at the moment myself. <laughs> well, good, good to see you staying on two legs then. Well, that's what, that's what they said last night. They were like, we weren't too worried about your bowling, it's whether you had, um, whether you were able to stand on two, two legs afterwards. Because the other week it wasn't, this one's flicked behind square. There's a player there though, and we'll just be one. Two, two, four for four. Starting to pick up flying from top left of screen through to the bottom right. As you see it. And Amiga gets onto that back foot and tries to cut. It misses out. Hello, hello. No, you're alright, mate. Not the first four-legged friends I've seen today, so... <laughs> Renika waits again. 
4 of 10 deliveries on the boundary. NZ over, 2-2-4 two, two, four for 4. Will Clark continuing from the Devon uh, from the harbouring end here at Devonport Domain joined in commentary by North Shore coach Chris Reid. How are we going, Chris? A wicket, but in general, all good. It's not a bad day of cricket though, is it? And some like this is oh, dived over the top of that. I'll pick up two. How's the uh, season been for you guys at Premier level? Yeah, it's been a struggle. Um, to be to be fair, following last year we've. Um, definitely struggled to back that up with any degree of momentum or consistency. We've um, come right this calendar year. We've um, won four games in a row now, including an outright last week, but um, generally yeah. speaking, we've struggled. This is through cover this time, and just reached the boundary, four runs. 2 3 0 for four. Yes, a good win for you guys. Um, so 70 runs last week against the suburbs? Um, yeah, something like that. I can't really remember the runs, but um, we, we certainly dangled the character to try to give them an incentive to, to win the game um, in order to bring about wickets. So it was a pretty com comprehensive victory from us. Yeah, I was going to say, I did come across that result when I was putting the stats in and everything and saw that you guys had a um, good one. Um, much, much needed in the context of our season and uh, promotion relegation considerations. I know your reserves didn't do too well last week, I was covering that um, that one. Yeah, unfortunately it's kind of the way we've fielded nine players today for reserves, even though we have Cornwall, I think, uh, almost bowled out for 70. Um, oh, that's not a bad day. Devonport has a variety of challenges that uh, make it extremely hard to build a cricket club around. Um, availability of players being the biggest one. We have a lot of school kids and university kids that all go to the South Island for whatever reason post-COVID. Um, and we struggle to maintain and keep all of our best talent. Not so bad when you can. Impossible. Not bad though when you can bring in former black cap Ronnie Hera today. Yeah, look, our team today is a classic case in point. Though you don't look to play a game of cricket with one seam bowler. Um, we're just struggling for uh, the numbers all round. So yeah, Ron's a, an old friend of mine. We've known each other for the best part of 20 years. So um, he was kind enough to help us out. Yeah, it's a bit of a crowd catch there. By the look of things, uh, will he be back next week as well? Uh, we're unsure Wait and about see. That. Yeah, the, the old have to ask the bosses to oh, the, uh, top. play there, but um, such as our predicament players wise, we, we've had to name him. We have um, two players going to, well, one going to a wedding and one going to an LMS tour overseas. So, um, oh, yes, because yeah. 10, I actually have forgotten about this, Tendai Chitongo uh, getting married today, I believe. Yeah, T threw a spanner in our works. Um, only retiring this year. But, um, oh, he was, he's retired, okay. Yeah, he retired last, last year, but um, yeah, he's married today, so that took out a couple of our players. A number of us, including myself, were also wanting, invited, <laughs> but um, yeah, unable to attend for a variety of reasons, not just cricket. So. And who's the player for, from the club? That's right. Yeah. Not, um, not, uh, not ideal when it's your best batsman, but uh, the man no. of the life. <laughs> Would be a very interesting trip over there. Um, sure. I've come once um, in my life. Okay. Adi, oh, and um, actually, when they were playing for Cornwall yep. a few years ago. Yep. Um, and Armit returning from injury as well, from a nasty one with the sound of things. Yeah, yeah, Armit had a um, series of unfortunate situations last year that have affected his um, physicality greatly. He had something called compartment syndrome, which is basically Ooh. like uh, thinking about a, a sausage bursting out its casing. That was the case with his legs. So. I was going to say, I've never heard pleasant things about that. No, 
uh, he scored 800 runs in excruciating pain the season prior to that, but um, he had the surgery to relieve that problem, and then um, that obviously has other additional impacts on your on your body. And then when he he came back to play, he managed um, managed a few games, but um, got up from dropping a catch to try and run after the ball, and yeah, uh, blew out his ACL. Oh, yep. Okay. Spent <laughs> a year getting that right, so it's his first game back. Um, back now, and yeah, he'll obviously ease the, the boat into the water. It will take a degree of time, but it's good to have him back. I mean, he's been one of the best batters around Auckland Club cricket for a very, very long time. I was going to say, I definitely knew the names um, Dudwell before starting this season because um, they're twins, aren't they? Yep, I've coached the twins since they were 14, so. Um, uh, you know a little bit about them. <laughs> yeah, Artie, Artie works for me and he lives with me, so. Um, oh, <laughs> just a little bit there. We're pretty close. <laughs> um, facilities here at North Shore, like, I mean, um, Great club facilities behind us with the uh, tuck shop. What's it like with the uh, fields out there? Yeah, you can't really beat Devonport on a nice day like today. Change um, of peel for our BW, turn down. The issue for us is, is really our, our wicket. Um, it has had a lot, of, a lot of issues in the last two years that haven't been correctly diagnosed for whatever reason. I'll, I'll be candid, the, the council really dropped the ball with regards to the maintenance of the, of the ground. And um, the renovation of the wicket was fundamentally botched. So um, cool. we've, we've really struggled to put together a, um, a, a wicket that allows good quality cricket to be played on it. And that's probably the biggest hindrance that we have here. Yeah, I know um, I was talking to he, he, ground, the groundsman here, Aaron, um, said he's taken over this calendar year and said it's certainly been uh, a bit challenging for him. He said at one point, uh, the roller was spewing out hydro uh, yeah. hydraulic fuel, fluid, that never the, helps. The, 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 the last bloke is probably, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what the best way to describe it, but he certainly um, didn't do us many favours. Didn't help. <laughs> including rolling the wicket for about an hour with it leaking hydraulic fluid all up and down <laughs> it and totally rendering that strip useless. Um, don't quite know how that happens, but um, he, uh, he, he seemed to be asleep on the job for the most part and didn't really produce those wickets that we could even play on um, most of last year we lost four playing days last year I don't know how we were quite won a championship with that but we did well especially with the weather as well that was yeah. around um, never helps and it's, it's a single to mid wicket um, I've noticed a few of the older gentlemen floating around the he, um, traps been talking to Roger and um, David yep. the, the, it, it, Brian Shanley uh, it, yeah and Brian as well um, what makes this club tick? Yeah, um, well, I've, I've coached at three clubs, Waitakere, Takapuna, and, and this club, and I've, I've been here six years. This is a, a bit of a throwback to the old days, this club, and that it has a lot of community connection. Um, because Devonport is an enclave, and it's one way in, one way out, it tends to have a lot of community support, and the boys refer to it as the Devonport bubble. People don't really Oh, the it. bubble? Okay, yeah. Once you're in, you can't get out. Yeah, so you tend to have um, still a lot of these old-timers that are, are really connected and very opinionated in some instances, <laughs> uh, for, for, for better or for worse sometimes. I've learnt to keep walking most of the time. Yep, you just um, tuck your head down and go. But yes, um, yeah, Roger's the, the bane of most of our lives with his um, newsletter that he puts out every week and he just harasses me to write uh, fixtures for it. Yeah, this project. one's played just a backward square on the bounce. The top edge there, but they do love the club. Brian um, is a long standing scorer of the club, he's also very closely associated with the football, uh, the soccer up the road. Oh, yes, yep. he sort of just bounces from one to the to the next. Oh, so just through the d year. doesn't have an off season, no, you know, he does, <laughs> all like the, myself. does all the stats and um, produces us written reports on where everything's at, which uh, sometimes is good, sometimes <laughs> is bad. You take, take it as you can, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it can be quite confronting when he comes to the trainings and rolls out the, the slips to the boys. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, uh, oh. we appreciate him. Yeah, no, definitely um, those sort of people make things tick along well. Is, who's at the bowling crew? It is uh, Ronnie. Yeah, no, we're no? about to bring on Rory by the look of it. Uh, uh, our one seamer for the day. I was going to say pace, yeah. but switching ends. <laughs> it was a two day. 
It is. Yeah. yeah. Today. How many overs do they play a day? 90 or 80 or something? Uh, 106. Yeah, it's, it's on the basis of time on the first day, so it'll yeah. play till 6.30. Yeah, it's a big day. Yeah. Play through till 6.30, yeah. yeah tea so. in a yeah. couple of minutes, probably oh, the last yeah. over. And there is no mandatory declaration, is there? But you do need to bowl. I mean, Certainly ideally, you'd want to bowl at some point. <laughs> a, a minimum amount of overs need to be bowled. Um, we're, we're far ahead of the rate for probably our <laughs> our own uh, peril here. Yep. But, um, yeah. Well, I was thinking, the um, good thing about having the spin is that you are getting through the overs. Well, yeah, we, we've uh, been penalised once this year already for being behind the over rate. Is that in a one day game? One day or? game. So we normally the, the culprits are being too slow and now we're too fast. Oh <laughs> is what it is. Yeah, that's cricket unfortunately. Vessel bowling his uh, previous overs his eleven overs from the Takapuna end. This one from the harbour and Patel ducks underneath it. Um, I see you were doing a bit of talking with a couple of players. Uh, at the lunch break, what was going on? But uh, I know it was around field place what I was hearing. Yeah, I, I, I was just encouraging our our spin bowlers to try and set straighter fields. Um, the, the boy that's got the runs, Patel, um, has played around his front pad quite a bit. So I'm just given that there's no real turn in the wicket, um, we we need to encourage the batsmen to fundamentally look at wider angles to score from, which introduces playing across stumps a bit more I think um, I shouldn't try and help you but yeah, yeah. Neil, Neil does play quite a bit of crosses mm, we, we, pads we've, um, we've just struggled I think to use our smarts here today we haven't really identified the pace that uh, needed to be bowled on the wicket we, we've bowled too too quick um, and once we've once we slowed it down it, it helped um, but yeah it's 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 a challenging surface that I'd probably best describe as dead it doesn't really not really producing a great deal of anything. Um, whereas last week, when we played at Suburbs, um, it, it was a, a real Bunsen burner and it turned a lot, which historically the North Shore wicket does, but because of the renovation that was done here, it um, seems to have just killed it for the most part. Got to warn you, it's possible that VJ's still listening as uh, the head groundsman at Ken Wander. Oh, okay. He does oh, tune it? in. Oh, no, I mean, that was. Um, <laughs> That was a good good surface in terms of it played uh, played outright cricket. I mean, they had a guy that got eight for in their in their team. So yeah, uh, Malay Patel. Yeah, it was tough, but um, it's it's good to be playing on, on surfaces that produce results. Well, that's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and, and I mean, today cricket's not not the easiest to get. Um, Part of the reason, I mean, I've always been number hungry, but one of the reasons that real, really sparked my uh, numbers interest is a guy down in Hamilton, um, where I originally started live streaming, and that uh, picked up ten in the first innings, five in the second, and they lost out, lost outright. <laughs> Shall I say, <laughs> Stunner? Yeah. He's told me off for taking a few photos where it's quite obvious about the bend in his arm. Yeah, yeah, there's a few of those around. But uh, that's what happens. This should be the last ball before tea. Hajot Jahal winning the toss. His first ever toss he won this morning. He told me. And Renega just plays this at the crease. And just looking at the umpires to see and confirm. It is. All right. Thanks very much, Chris. And good luck to you guys for the rest of the uh, afternoon. Cheers, Phil.
no my hokey my welcome back to Devonport Domain. I finally worked out where I am in regards to things. Day one of the round five match between round five Hedley Howarth match between uh, Eden Roskill and North Shore the hosts. Eden Roskill two thirty one for four. As the first balls. Guided down to short third man. And it's really picked up. I've actually just chucked on the new hoodie that I've been given this morning. Second ball from Moore, just played to short mid wicket. Reminder there'll be highlights posted to Bev's Broadcasting official at some point. Um, I am coming towards the end of the very busy two weeks of cricket that I had about a month ago that I'm having to play catch up from. Under 17 boys and under 17 girls summer series. It was hosted at Keithay Park. Dev Racha with his gear on, walking past. And Patel gets the broom out, sweeps us behind square. And we stop, they'll pick up two. Deck back with square down there doing the fielding. Patel just plays us back to Moore. Bit of soccer skills going on. He's claiming a run out. Actually, I heard you were a football fan as well. My um, The first football game I commentated with uh, was the director of football at Hamilton Wanderers. And a guy by the name of Ricky Herbert. Right. Ever met Ricky? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Decent bloke. Yeah. Very decent bloke. Yeah, well, this is played off his pad. So they're going to take a run, take on the arm, and they get in comfortably. For those of you unsure who Ricky Herbert is, uh, is at the end of the over, 234 for four. One of the very few people in the world uh, to have both played and coached at a football world cup played at the 1982 world cup for the uh, all whites in spain and in 2010 was the all whites coach in south africa yep. in the uh pre- northern premier league or are they sit below it no, it's the championship yeah i was like i know if they're not they Oh yes, yep. Keith A Park, which is where Eden Roscoe Cricket Club is home to Auckland United. Great to see the families out and about, enjoying the sun. Let's see, David's turned back up. In the sentence, summary of the game. Uh, it's been mostly one-way traffic, but... Um, what sort of cricket terminology is that? 
Oh, he's in Nazca traffic report, oh, David. No, oh. Oh. No, uh, nothing's really happened. They've picked up two wickets in the middle session. Uh, one to Ronnie Hera and one to Will Clark, the captain. But um, Neil Patel, who's currently on strike on... I think he might be 80. As this one's pulled round, fielded at mid-wicket. They take a single. He's on 80, uh, now 90. It's into the 90s, the nervous 90s. I think it was against Papa Toe Toe and he, um, he must have heard me say that he, he's a slow starter because next ball he hit, hit a, a mid-wicket for six. <laughs> <laughs> slow yeah, did you hear what I said? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, did he hear? Yeah. yeah. Right. The only paceman in, the, in this attack at the, uh, today. Bowls and boundary. Take another single. And he got on to six. Yeah, if you're gonna, if you guys are gonna walk in front of the camera, you have to do something for the camera. Come on, camera. Yeah, yeah, Zed making his return from uh, injury. It's laid off, been laid off for a couple of wet months. Auckland Aces contracted player. It's the discussion going on about placing placement of fielders. Uh, pushed back a bit here for Neil Patel. Point cover mid off. A wide mid on. Mid wicket. A short fine leg. Here's this one's back of the length and just played down to. Third man for a single. Keeper Riley Mudford does the fielding. Blues versus Fiji and Drua. Is kicked off in uh, Whangarei. Round one of the 2024 Super Rugby Pacific Edition. Chiefs, uh, Brumbies, and Hurricanes with wins on day one. Last night. Alright, welcome back. To apologise for the issues. North Shore, they've broken through with two wickets. Dev Ratra, the last man to go for a duck. We hear Raniga before then. For 12, off the both off the bowling of Rory Bessel. So he has three for 39. Neil Patel, 91 not out. Jay Patel at the crease having faced just one delivery.
new ball, new over being bowled from uh, Joseph Moore at the Takapuna end. Bowling to Neil Patel on 91. Chillier, there is um, some rain forecast tomorrow for Tamaki Mikado here in Auckland on the North Shore. About a quarter of an hour's drive from the CBD. Next ball from Moore and Patel just plays this other pads. And Jay Patel was very interested, but uh, Neil Patel wasn't. Definitely not a run there. Patel's been involved in a couple of runouts this season. I think we're actually falling victim every time there's been a run out with him at the crease. This time just plays the short in the bucket. Patel gets it to the right of mid on. It's a short fine leg in play, a short third man. Point halfway to the boundary, cover, mid off, mid on. Deep backward square in it, deep mid wicket. There's little in the over. Maiden for Joseph Moore. Here's 23 overs, two maidens, none for 78. And Neil Patel still on 91. Put the hoodie on. Vessel to continue. He's had the, he's got the two wickets since uh, tea. Sir, we do ask, sir, we do ask if you go in front of the camera, you've got to show us something. There's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this clipped through mid wicket. Back good point, sorry. I'll pick up two. With Patel off the mark. Joe Patel, that is. Joe Patel just uh, drops his shoulders on that. A little bit interesting there from Bessel. I think he um, lost a bit of footing on the pitch there.
is this one through mid on. Ronnie here giving chase and just restricts it to one. Patel on three, J, J Patel on three now. Neil Patel, 91. An adjustment to the sight screen going on. This is, is pulled round and a player down there at backward square. Bit of a misfield, but just the one. Neil Patel into 92 now. Every batter has its own, their own preference about where they want the sight screen, where they don't want the sight screen. Recent times we've had uh, Steve Smith. This is played to point and they pick up a single. Steve Smith complaining about a um, roll of tape next to the sight screen. Kane Williamson, I think, is the latest one where there was a red dot on it at uh, Hamilton. <laughs> having come from the uh, Hamilton club scene, having a sight screen is a Pretty rare occurrence. It's uh, usually for the two day sub, sub association tournament uh, fixtures, sorry. It's got it off the bat, off the bat. And they'll come back for two. Good running. Neil Patel moves to ninety four. Also brings up Eden Roscoe's two fifty. Ends the over. So he won't have the strike, he's on ninety four. Bessel, 15 overs, 3 maidens, 3 for 46. There's an next ball to Jay Patel behind backward square and they just take the single. Joseph Moore into his 24th over. Three maidens, none for 78.
next will just defend it from Neil Patel. Wide shot third man, fine leg, deep backward square, mid wicket on the boundary. Point cover, mid off, mid on, and a short mid wicket. Uh, for defence, it's got the North Shore players up about something. <laughs> it's hard when you spent the whole day out in the field to try and keep yourself motivated and that. I know uh, the Eden Roscoe Pro Water Blasting players found last week tough going against University. Big thanks to their sponsors, Reliance Forex, Barfoot and Thompson, Mount Roskill, Speedy Signs, and Pro Water Blasting. Also a nod to Barfoot and Thompson, who sponsors, uh, who is the main sponsor here at North Shore. Last ball of the over, I think, from Moore. Plays it down the ground. Ends the, the over, it is. 2.51 for six, just a single offer. Roy Bessel continuing from the Harbour Enders. Jay Patel just rides down on it. And they'll pick up two. I apologise about that fielder being in the way. And it's the uh, tallest player out there. That extra cover. This one's just ducked underneath. Unfortunately, just with the camera issues we've had today, um, don't really want to play around with it too much. As Patel gets a bit of an outside edge. So the bales have come off in the wind. Play goes through till. 
6.30 this evening. Gully Point cover, mid-off, mid-on, mid, mid wicket. Another mid wicket on the boundary as this played up and over. The square leg over the um, behind square, and it has reached the boundary for runs. First boundary in a while. It's 257 for six. In the first half in Whangarei, in the Super Rugby Pacific match between the Blues and Hurricane, uh, Blues and Fiji and Drua, Blues leading 22-3. Not the only uh, rugby code on this weekend, uh, NRL pre-season starts with the Warriors taking on uh, the Redcliffe Dolphins down in Christchurch. Getting it from the cheap seats here, Gerard. Just rides down and plays this to cover. This evening's game to the NZ over. 2.57 for six in the uh, Super Rugby Pacific. Highlanders at home in Otipoti. Dunedin taking on Moana Pacifica. Looks as though someone's been for a swim. Of course, why not when you have four legs? This Patel just comes forward and defends. Tell 94 of 198 deliveries. As usual, a rock in the innings, in the uh, batting lineup, sorry, for Eden Roscoe Pro Water Blasting Wolves. Quicker one there from Moore. Does like to play late. Uh, Neil Patel. Moore into his 25th over. Three maidens to 79. Over in the other Headley Howarth uh, matches. University 305 for three at Suburbs Newland. Cornwall 76 for one in reply to Tuckapuna's 178. And Parnell, 27 without loss in reply to East Coast Bay's 304. 
good fielding there at mid wicket, prevents a single. Him to come in the over. Oshik Chakraborty backing up his hundred last week against Eden Roskill. Another one. This is cut through mid wicket. Three fourth square has reached the boundary. Four runs. Neil Patel now moves to 98. Yes, yeah, so just having a look at that uni scoreboard. Uh, Barrington Rowland, 133. I thought he did well. And uh, yeah, Oshik um, Chakraborty, 115 not out. Well, if you look at his case, there was also 165 balls. Birch. Oh, Freddie Birch. 175 strike rate. It's not bad. Also, obviously, it seems it's still uh, T20. Execution is just like. Well, you know, if it comes off for you, it comes off, doesn't it? They had a good platform. Patel waiting on 98. And just played to cover. Ends the over. 2 6 1 for 6. Will Clark bringing himself back on at the harbour end. I'm sure I saw that um, 80s concert uh, that one of the guys of City, Carl McKnight, is going to next week. Headlined by the Human League. Thanks for that, Gerard. You really have got that song stuck in my head now. There's an appeal for RBW, but uh, I think there's a good chunk of bet on that. If God had a name, what would it be? <laughs> Sorry? If God had a name. Oh, what, what if, if God, God had a name? <laughs> and would he call it to your face, Steve? <laughs> if you were faced with him? You're a shocker. You are a shocker. I mean, I don't know what's bad, you know, you whistling it or me knowing exactly what that song was. As it's played up, and oh, Roddy Hera! Roddy Hera has pulled out a spiggy at mid-on. He's gone about five steps to his left, parried it, and then dove and caught it again. 2-6-1 for 7.
I got to hold the Auckland Aces contracted player at the crease. A couple of weeks ago when uh, Eden Roskill were having a field day against Papa Toei Toei. He had a quick fire 50. Started off a little bit slow but then was hitting bombs. I'm sure if VJ at Kenwanda Park is still watching, he'll be looking forward to some more bombs being hit. Half time in the rugby. Blues 29-3 leading VJ and Drua. It's uh, in Whangarei, at Seminoff Stadium. Long on and long off back. And Jahol plays this down the ground. And just a single. Field comes up for Patel. And this plays down to mid off. Ends the over. He stays on 98. Hajot Jahol new at the crease. One not out. And it's 2 6 but 2 for 7. Joseph Moore continuing and Jahol just goes back into the crease and defends. Next ball from Moore, and just a full one again. A little bit of pause and proceedings here. This is 
I'd back to more. holds it solid in defence at the moment. I was five on a Saturday afternoon Devonport Domain Tamaki Makoto Auckland hours play left in the day. Hold beats uh, short mid wicket. I'll punch a single down to long on. Here's a very serious question for you, Gerard. Is that sends the over two six three for seven? Why is cricket illegal? Why is cricket illegal? Illegal where? Everywhere. As I said, very serious question. Yeah, because players hit and run. Oh, I <laughs> oh, couldn't resist that one. I haven't brought that one up for a while, actually. <laughs> That's right, David, they only get worse from there. Joel waiting on to drives but finds mid off. Here's a question for you, I'll ask David too, but I reckon David will know this. Which two countries played the first officially recognised international cricket match? Oh, I know, it's not American, Canada. What two yeah. countries played the first official recognised international cricket match? What two countries? West Indies and England. Nope. I'm sure Canada is one of them. Just be quiet over there. <laughs> <laughs> no. Gerard's right. Yes. USA and Canada. <laughs> yeah, USA and Canada played the first official um, international match. A lot of people think it's the um, Aussie and England, but no, that was the first. But at that time, America was basically England, wasn't it? Yeah. Dots of building, Will Clark. It's three for 68. What I, do, what I dare to do, David, is go and show her those photos. As it's down the ground, and will be four runs.
No, it won't. Sorry. I'm too sure what's going on there. Well, I might actually use those, to be honest. It's one run, and it's 264 for seven. And drinks on the field as well. Two six four seven. One hour left in play on day one here. All right, so drugs have finished, and uh, so Ronnie Hera to continue at the Takapuna end. So what do you think of wheelchair rugby now that I've shown you, David? I've seen all I need to see. You've yeah. seen all you need to see, yeah. It's one of the very few 
sports where a full contact sports men and women play together. Yeah. Um, as this is played down the ground, and I'll pick up a single. Brings Neil Patel on strike on 98. Um, have you ever heard of a rugby league player called Benji Marshall? He played numerous NRL games, we're talking over 300. Um, played a number of tests for the New Zealand Kiwis side. Um, his first cousin uh, plays every now and then when uh, she's not injured or unwell. Um, and that, um, one of the best female players in the world. And she's very quiet, but she does a lot of talking on the court. It's played at the crease. Patel in no hurry for this hundred. I've been overseas four times in my life. <laughs> well, that's over eight. See? I see. Um, it has probably been about four times over the shore. <laughs> Sad as that sounds. Here, I left arm round. Um, and all four have been for wheelchair rugby. So 17, 18 and 19 I went to Sydney. And then last year I went to Tokyo. Field, just the basketball, basketball court. Oh, yep. Played played with the volleyball. Yeah, it's quicker one here, and here yeah, I just can't get it through. Yeah. Yep. Played with a volleyball on a basketball court. Um, yeah. Hard to find a gym that'll allow it because cleaning um, <laughs> I can speak from personal experience that cleaning those courts with the tyres. Yep. Uh, that goes on. Will Clark. Standard. Sorry? The chairs are standard. Oh, how much do you reckon one of those chairs cost? Oh, how are they standard? I mean, they're all the same way everybody else. No, no. Oh, right. so generally, they're, they're the modified to suit. Or the electric motor and under your bum. And away you go. Oh, I can't quite get away with that. <laughs> no, because they check your chairs. Yeah, I can't imagine. They do check your chairs. And, and there was very specific. Um, how much do you reckon one of those chairs costs brand new? Oh, grand. No, not even close. A day? This, well, probably. Uh, the tyres cost one grand, brand new. The chairs cost roughly $10,000. Where does that come from? Uh, funding? <laughs> It is the um, second ball from Clark and Jahol comes down the pitch. Dead bats it. It's the most popular team sport at the Paralympics. Which usually takes place uh, two weeks after the um, Summer Olympics or, or Winter Olympics. They changed it. I think Barcelona was the first Paralympics that um, was at the same venue Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah the um, same city, sorry, as the Olympics. Right. The single down to Long On. <laughs> Only time I've been to the Olympics, I was 17 years too late. <laughs> <laughs> was down to Sydney, was in Sydney. Oh, right. That's overseas. Just yeah, not just, just, very far, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, it was a bit of a difference yeah, between... Um, <laughs> There's a field coming in here for Patel, sitting on 98. Um, oh, I've got a question for you, actually. I should ask Gerard, since Gerard's a knowledgeable man. Well, that's what you said a while back. I had to prove myself first. Well, no, you've, 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 still, you've still got to get this answer right. What's this one going to the three? David's lining up some shots. Just played on the crease. 
which batsman in test history has got it out the most times in the 90s? Gone out? If you know this one, I mean. Has been dismissed in the 90s. I'm not giving you the country. I know it's one of them that, one of the top scoring ones. Just need to think which one of the... Just give me a second here. Yeah, no, I'll give you a second, I just ain't giving you hints. Is oh, Jahola taken off? Sent back. No, I don't even think he's hit the stumps. Oh, I didn't see that. I'll clip that and have in. a watch later. He, he was in when he got hit. Yeah. Well, there's the old uh, video of Inzamam coming down the wicket and hitting one, and then um, as he's backpedalling, defends the ball. And he's about a foot outside the crease. And Jahol can't pick here up. No, not Australian. So the era is mid nineties to two thousands. Is it Play Indian or English? One of those two. Well, you got to make up your mind. Must be the one with the most runs. Which is? Basu. Not just the most runs, but he's also had the most innings. You know. Um, <laughs> it, I think it makes it makes the most sense that it's such Sachin Tendulkar. Imran Khan. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Did you get that? The single down to... Imran Khan. No, well, Imran Khan was early 90s, not late 90s, mid 90s. Single, Jahol gets Patel back on strike in 98. Okay, so which current player has been out in the most 90s. I ain't giving you a country on that one because the country would just give it away. Even more than saying that player in history is Indian. This is one skewed out behind square. Okay, I'll tell you he's not Indian. No, no, this is the current player that's been out the most times in the 90s. Steve Smith. Not Australian. It's played to point, not root. I'm not denying or agreeing that it's English. Looks like we're going to get rained out. No, there's, there's a big cloud coming to the left of us. English, South African, Kiwi, or West Indian? Kiwi, really? Yeah, to see if I, t I, I knew if I told you the bloody country, you'd get it. <laughs> yeah, again, it's one of those that are high... Yeah, Kane Williamson is the answer to that one. Really? Yep, been out the most time in current players and tests. Yeah. Where's he now then? Why isn't he on the field? Got a sore thumb or something, didn't he? No, his um, wife's doing as this one just pushed to cover they'll take a single and we'll get there 99 he moves to 99 I thought he used on 
Neil Patel on 99 on strike. Will Cluck bowling. See the phones are out, ready for his hundred. Yeah, I mean it could one year. There's one clipped down the ground and misses out. I'm gonna that's gonna have to be on the live stream, I'm sorry. <laughs> The dog rolling around. I just thought that is too good not to. Oh no, did you? Yeah, I did. I did. Oh, the very end of it. And that'll be 100 for Neil Patel. Gets it. And a well deserved 100 it is. Takes his helmet off. Warm applause to the right of me for his teammates. He's had 190 this season. They've got 96 in a one day yeah, against um, Papa Toi Toi. Yeah, right. now, so now he's got the ton. And Jahol winds up. Goes all the way. Yes, he does. Six runs. Party time. We've already had one ball being stuck in the playground today. <laughs> Bounced up. They needed a cricket bat to try and whack the ball out. No, it was Seddon. It was Seddon Park down Seddon Hamilton. Park. It was a, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's a lot easier to run out of the ground. Yeah, they ran around the corner and the yep. and the, the, all and the jandals. Yeah. Yep. Got in the car and he was gone. When the ball goes in the stadium, do they, they don't bring on a new ball. The guys well, it depends on whether they a, can get it back. Yeah. Um, as is the full toss down the ground. Just be one. And be what the state of the ball's like. Yeah, well, well, I was wondering if they got a new ball every time they felt it in the stadium, that would be... I know um, Martin Guptill's can, put it, a, um, there's a couple sitting on the cake tin roof from Martin Guptill. <laughs> on the roof. <laughs> yep. <laughs> One of those sixes he hit during the, um, during his 200 odd against the West Indies. And the next one will be taken. It's hold out. And Neil Patel's fine innings has come to an end. Down at mid wicket, and it's 276 for eight. picture of um, Neil or the dog? Both. So how, many, how much time is this? 35 minutes. You're half up. Hey? Half up. Yeah, 35 minutes. Five Don't usually move the, cricket, the camera too much in cricket, but... No, I can see why. <laughs> it's, well, it's, it, it's not so much about um, covering the ball, but it's um, about trying to get back to where you need it. <laughs> have you heard of a fluid head? A fluid head? Yeah, not you. I mean, oh. have you heard of it, a fluid head? Uh, yes. Yeah, it's used on movie films, so you can imperceptibly slide the camera, pan it, or uh, tilt it.
tilted. Yep, I was going to say the other way. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's just I knew what you mean. It's imperceptible because it's dampened with fluid in the head. Yeah. So when you pan around and catch that player. Barty plays back to the bowler. It doesn't jerk all over the place and it wander up to the sky and down to the. Do you know who Tony Johnson is, the Sky Sport commentator? Um, he's been doing rugby for over 30 years and um, ran into him at a tournament and I <laughs> was having trouble with my camera and I said, you don't ever happen to have one of those big sky cameras with you, do you? <laughs> he goes, mate, those cameras are about more than my year's salary. <laughs> um, one of the other things that happened, I think, during the Bangladesh T20s at Eden Park, um, the viewfinder on the camera got hit yeah, by the ball right. and broke that. completely. Oh, I remember that. That was the marriage <laughs> running it. Yeah. He had a big smile on his face. There's the hole digs this out down to point. And I thought, geez, that camera will be, you know, 20 grand or something. Yeah. I saw the ball hit the bloody camera. I think in those situations you can't do anything else other than smile and have a laugh. Yeah. T77 for 8. Jahol on 13. Barty, just the one ball he's faced. Plays us back to the bowler. And this clip behind square on the offside. Hera giving chase. I'll pick up two. A oh, big thanks um, to you, Chris Reid, for joining me in commentary earlier today. I didn't realise he has uh, departed. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, com he's commented on the live stream, you see. <laughs> but that's okay. Thanks for Norkshaw sure having me. See if they allow you back next week. Yeah, well, that's a big question, eh? Tug off for a quick single and diving here, I can't save it. 280 for eight. And this one played down to point, 281 for 8 now. Here's a question for you, David. What's the most cricket thing you've ever seen? I love asking people this. Yeah, the most cricket, cricket thing? Yeah. The thing that sums up cricket the most. Um, a dilemma between umpires over here on this ground, between whether the uh, uh, batter was out. He was... <coughs> The fielder went to the boundary, picked up the ball, and threw it back. The umpire wrongly thought the ball was dead, had gone over, and started waving his arms for the ball. Oh, yes. In fact, the ball was still alive. Came back, and the batsmen are wandering around. Nice one, Joe. Wang, he's out. <laughs> so now the umpires have. But the have the umpires looked? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no TV coverage here. No. And so there's a long discussion, and it's. A lot of restlessness between the batting team from the bank and uh, over the, this dispute. <coughs> Ollie warns out. Oh, so he was given out in the end? Out because the ball was still alive. Yep. But it looked, it was on that boundary by that wall across there. Oh, quite, yes. Quite yep. Behind the batter, where the batter's standing now. Exactly. Yeah. And I was standing just to the right and I was <laughs> Went back in. Well, you just have to ask and Johnny I Best. Whack the buddy bails off. You have to ask no, Johnny no, Best, though, no. when the ball's technically dead, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> English keeper that uh, went for a wander, <laughs> oh, yeah, think, right. thinking the ball was dead. Yeah, yeah. Well, 
Well, during the ashes. What happened here? The bouncer went for a wander, thinking the ball was dead. Wrong. Because the umpire gave the... Yeah. Well, he's in the way. Vessel from the harbour end. And Jahol drives down the ground. And here has had a free shot at the stumps that he's must. The, uh, I think the non-striker was actually closer to the, closer to the stumps than the striking batter. Well, the most cricket thing I've seen, I, went, uh, uh, I was commentating for Auckland Cricket a few seasons ago, at, and the first game we did was at Cornwall Cricket Club. For those of you who don't know Cornwall Cricket Club, it's surrounded by... Park. It's in Cornwall Park, yeah. underneath One Tree Hill. Yeah, I know, yeah. um, no, no, I figured you knew where Cornwall is, well, but some people might not no. know. Well, I learned like um, Cornwall, so I was yeah, Cornwall. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. in the Cornwall. Yeah, the Cornwall. Yeah, it's a bit of a bottom edge. Yeah. Um, you know, surrounded by cattle and trees and everything. <laughs> yep. Well, similar to my story. So, and it wasn't listening, sorry, Gerard. I'm talking to David here. <laughs> um, Cal got hit. Cal on the paddock got hit by the ball. Was on the bounce. Really? <laughs> gonna bloody, I'm going to mute this mic in a second. I'd say that was a cowardly thing to do. <laughs> oh, you, oh, that's great. Oh, David's just come out with a pillar. As it's down the ground, players converging and taken. No? <laughs> oh, shit. Single in the end. I'm getting crap from all over the place here, Dan. Yeah, no anyway, hit the cow on the yep, bounce. Hit the cow on the bounce. Cow was fine. We're having a bit of a laugh about it. <laughs> someone and someone and comment. Uh, someone comes over to us and commentary. Is the next ball, and Jahal just tags us out and goes. You do realise that Cal was standing at Cal Corner. <laughs> we lost it from there. A, ca a cow, cow being hit by the cricket ball at yeah. Cow Corner. Yep. It was. That was intentional. Oh, it must have been. <laughs> the, 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 we thank the farmer for putting it in there. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't such a cowardly act as David said. <laughs> Lose ten minutes for change of innings. It has been an outright tie this season. Now, when I looked at the playing conditions, I thought, what on earth is an outright tie? So, but then I, I, I saw the Parnell Takapuna result in the Headley Howarth. It's a whole drives, but to cover. Parnell made 320 in their first innings. In reply, Takapuna's second innings ended five minutes before time. And um, they had actually equaled the 320 across the two innings. But because it didn't have, they, because it had finished five minutes before close of play yeah. on the last day, they couldn't come out and score one run. <laughs> so they were, it was awarded as an outright tie. <laughs> That's pretty rare. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, the card said. Ever even seen or heard that before? Well, that's first um, uh, South Africa New Zealand match, just down to the last ball, and the fielder could stop. They had to get a four, and they'd win, or if they got a one, they were out of it. Yeah. So he skidded across on his tummy and tried to stop the ball with his hand. All he had to do was throw his body at the ball and stop the ball. Oh, you're talking about the T20 on Wednesday? Yes. He didn't have to chuck it back. No. Throw it, throw it back. Just he had to just stop, stop it. Because <laughs> at worst, it yeah. would have been a um, super over. Yeah. There's a bit of a bottom edge from Barty. And parried away from fine leg. we pick up one. So this for 
finish the whatever. I mean, the half past six. Half past six, yeah. Yep. Whether, whether they've got another wicket or not. Yeah. yeah um, you get ten minutes for changeover and innings. Oh. Um, so if it does finish at six, if this innings finishes at six twenty, that'll be the right. end right. of day. Yeah, right. A single down to mid off. Swing and a miss from Barty. I think the thing that sums up how awful cricket can be, uh, John Morrison, the uh, former New Zealand Wellington player. You would have heard of John Morrison? No? In the 80s, as this is down through third man, Hero gives it a chase. Got out for a duck in a first class game. That was a D. Yep. Got out, got out for a duck. Went out and ran for a player who couldn't run. Oh, for an injury. Paralytic or something. No, no, just oh, just an injury in the game, you know, oh, like right. cramp or something. This yeah. is when you so could have a runner. Yeah, right. As the hole goes down to long on, and they pick up one. The guy got 180. You'd imagine a hundred of those would have been run, yeah, okay. which John Morrison did, <laughs> but he still ended up with zero. Because <laughs> the other guy got the runs and he ran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks into the oh. crease and might have got a bottom edge on that. Yeah. NZ over anyway, it's 287 for 8. We've got 286. Best all to continue, 18 overs, 3 maidens, 50, 3 for 55, single down to long on, Jahol on 17, Barty on 6. One got it off the face down to wide third man for a single. This is down through long off. Long on. Great feeling to keep that in. And I'll pick up two. Haven't had a misfield that's cost the 
the fielding team uh, recently. Two, two nine one for eight. You can walk in front of the camera, sir, if you. But yeah, no, but okay. but if you do, you need to dance or no. show us some talent. Even Ross is it? Yes. On the toss and electing to bat first this morning. Hajot Jahol winning his first ever toss. Goes back to the bowler on the bounce. It's quite a good. We've got to sleep a whole week on 299. Yeah. To uh, the Richard, Richard Jones semi final, we had the Mount Roskill MP. Come and come and have a look and a watch. He he did what you're doing, talking in the background, giving me someone to talk to. This goes down the ground. One ball left. It's two ninety one for eight. It's good playing, isn't it? When all the bats can get a shot. I mean, nine wickets, eight, eight wickets, and it's the end of. Well, they don't have. They can't go on. The th the thing is, is that. Uh, for every run you score, yeah. to your points tally on the table, you get 0 .01. Yeah, well, yeah. The reason why you don't want to bat too long, or you know, carry on batting, um, is that for every wicket in the first innings you take, you get 0 .25. Yeah. So, um, even though there is no declaration point, um, you, you do need to bowl it some point if you, if you want points to your total. Yeah, but on take for a batting side, that's a good good approach. Just about all out. Yep. For however many runs. So all the batsmen have had a shot. And whether they're tail enders or middle or, or openers. They've all had a shot. But it's just the score is two hundred and ninety nine for two. You think, fuck, all the good batsmen they've got. Just in the round they could have got three hundred and twenty two. Hindsight though, right? Gerard, Isaac Bird for East Coast Bay is 116 off 65. I thought you told me someone else. I said Birch. Ah, Bird, oh, Birch. Birch. Yeah, there's a Freddy Birch, but that's Takapuna, I think, actually. A Bird. I, I know it's the I. Yeah. And you said something, so I thought, yeah, you just said it. Single to point. A player somewhere scores 100. There's a catch at Ronnie call. <laughs> and a single. 293 for 8. I've had a text message that's come in that I didn't realise. Nitin texting in going, Congrats, Neil, on this 100. Well done, Neil. Not quite off 65 balls, but. Um, 100 to 100. 100 <laughs> I'd be lucky to make. A um, hundred years old as this is up, player going round and watches it all over his head. Six runs. <laughs> it's a wacky do. So just to yeah. confirm, Abby, it's um, first innings wicket, not first day wicket. So it's Did I say first day? I've been no, saying. No, you said innings. So I mean. Oh yeah, yeah. So you, that's why I mean you could bat the whole day. Yeah. As long as you take wicket. Yeah. And, and that's why there's no enforced follow-on, uh, enforced declaration, sorry. But, um... Just conditions you, you, of day, you, you Yeah. So it's hit to mid-wicket. This is what we were saying last week, dear, out at uni, wasn't it? That it wasn't a bad thing for us to keep bowling. So we ended up picking up 10 wickets against uni. Yes. Even though we'd lost first innings. And it'll be a single from Barty. Jahol, sorry, down to long on. Brings up the 300. As 
This is out to the boundary and drop, but very hard chance. And parried over the boundary, four runs. Not too sure what's going on there over at the uh, behind the sight screen, but saying which of us is uh, confusing everybody. Three o four for eight at the end of the over. <laughs> Need to check the rugby score actually. Well, the um, Super Rugby Pacific started last night. Blues taking on Fiji and Drua at the moment. No, it's a Fiji-based team. They beat the uh, beat the Crusaders at home. Be single down to Long On uh, last season at Lautoka. Still raining down in um, Christchurch. Canterbury Kings 141 for three in the 30th over, chasing 265 against the Auckland Aces. Let's just go down the ground and another single. That's the um, one one day domestic final being played down there. So that might be an interesting decision on who um, who's in front of the DLS. I think Canterbury might be just, but uh, might be wrong too. Actually, has been known to happen. It's a whole place is out to cover. Sweeper comes in for a single. Riley Mudford, bit of a um, diving save that uh, was more exaggerated than needed. Yeah. He has a swing and a miss from Jahol. Oh, probably would be in a one day game. No, we'll see. Um, black lines are for um, a possible no ball on the back foot intersecting. So, you know how you've got your crease lines here and that line there? Yeah, if the back, back foot hits that line, yeah, it hits that black line on the outside, it's, it's, an, it's, it's a no ball. So it's not to do with where the ball lines no, up. No, the, the other lines. The white lines. Yeah, the white lines inside tell you that. Oh, okay. Perfect. NZ over, 308 for 8. Oh, that's the reason why I'm looking at it. Why? I was looking at the wrong school there for a second and I was like, I'm well off. But no. Bessel 20 overs 
Three maidens, three for 64. Pick of the bowlers though, Will Clark. 27 overs, four maidens, four for 77. As he bowls his 28, and they'll get two straight down the ground. Other bowlers used by North Shore, Joseph Moore, 28 overs, three maidens with 100, none for 101. Matt Strain, just the four overs, none for 19. And Roddy Hera called back into the team after a couple of years in retirement. Three, 13 overs, three maidens, one for 44. So they pulled down to long on for a single. England all bowled out for 353 in the first innings against India. You don't normally know that till the other team's batted. Well, there's someone last night was saying it won't last three days. A full three days. You would think so. It's be a single down to mid wicket. Well, if North Shore were to grab two early, uh, two quick wickets from here, that would be the end of the day. We've just ticked over twenty past six. Close of play at six thirty. As Barty hits this down to the cover sweeper and just be one. Reason for that is if, um, if the 10 minute innings change, um, it'll be end of the day. 3.13 for 8. I told you the bowling scorecard, I'll go through the batting scorecard here. Vandenberg out caught off the bowling of Will Clark for 11. Swayam Desai, LBW off the bowling of Rory Bessel for 15. Mujtaba. Bowled off the bowling of Ronnie Hera for 77. Neil Patel, the standout today, along with Said Mujtaba. Caught off the bowling of Will Clark for 100 as Bessel starts again. And an outside edge past Mudford and be one. And two, the second turn down. Chakraborty, 34. Caught off the bowling of Will Clark by Matt Strain. Raniga. Caught by Ronnie Hera. Off the bowling of Rory Bessel for 12. Devratra. Out the same way for a duck. Jay Patel. Caught at Hardy Dudwell. Bowled Will Clark for 11. And a swing and a miss from Johol. Who's not out 32. And Barty not out 19. Three buys in there as well, all adding up to 3.14 for eight. Yeah, I try and do the graphics as a go, but it uh, can be a bit hard um, when you're one man band. Jahol clips this off his pads down to long on. One more. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a craze in the world um, called TikTok? Uh, it's a video. I know it's a craze and I've yep. heard of it. Yeah, I've heard of it. Okay, so well, I was at. Teenagers like it. Yeah, very. Yeah. yeah. Here's the next one from Bessel. Oh. Hand off the bat and play it down there. Wide long on. Takes the catch, and the ninth wicket falls. 3.15 for nine. Well, I think my thoughts of um, TikTok's probably the same as yours, David, by the sound of it. 
and as Yaya Zeb, the last batter for Eden Roskill Pro Water Blasting, replacing Damon Barty. Um, I was at the start of his cricket season scoring, and um, these guys in, in my team were talking away about TikTok, and it sounded like they were talking about me. And I'm like, I've never been on TikTok, don't want to be. And they're still talking about it. And I go, what on earth are you guys talking about? And they go, Do you, did you not know you're famous on TikTok? And I go, I'm not on TikTok. I go, oh no, you are. Um, uh, no, there couldn't be. Um, a few years earlier, I was commentating at a World Schools Sevens Rugby Festival. And the New Zealand Samoan team... I was trying to pronounce. <laughs> Emphasis on the trying. Uh, not my prettiest moment in commentary. Um, and it be, there was 660 comments, 10,000 views, 1,000 shares. Um, oh, yeah. And Zeb first ball, swing and a miss. Yeah, you were on TikTok. I was on TikTok. <laughs> didn't know about it. Because no, um, I definitely didn't put the video up. No, no, somebody, no. somebody else did. And, um, no. Somebody else clipped it and yeah. said, "Can someone please help this guy out?" <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. it's caused a lot of um, yeah. oh, a lot of hilarity to people, yeah. and um, I haven't been able to find it of late. I think they've removed it. They remove TikTok videos as Zeb goes down the ground and just be one. But um, a year or two after, uh, is the end of the over, 3.16 for nine. Um, I was writing at team lists for Hamilton Old Boys versus Melville and I came across this name and I go, oh, I know where I know that name from. And uh, I asked a few of his teammates because I couldn't find him. Oh no, we just call him. And they go, oh, I need to know how to pronounce it. Okay. And uh, finally, they. The Samoan player? Yes. Right. Yep. They managed to pull the player out of the changing rooms. And I said, I don't know if you know about this video on TikTok about a guy trying to pronounce Samoan names. Oh, that is so funny. That is hilarious. And I'm like, I'm so glad he could laugh about it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Instead, of eat, instead of eating you. Yeah, because um, if I was going to apologise, it's a little bottom edge from Zeb. Gets a single. I was like, well, if I'm going to apologise to anybody, it would be the players. No. Yep, um, there's all sorts of ethnicities. So my wife says, where are they from? So I listen, I've got to listen to them say two sandals, and I thought they were from Western Samoa. Two quick singles there. Yeah, you, 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 you get used to it. it and, like um, yeah. Look, I mean, I love the atmosphere and stuff that they that our Polynesians bring. Yeah. Um, well, the I did. Oh, league, yeah. yeah. Turned out for that game, and um, I think they went down, but anyway, it was huge. Oh, did, the result never matters in that. There's Jahal goes long over mid wicket, and it's all the way six runs. I don't know if it was me, but I thought one of the fielders there was trying to say four. <laughs> I think tongue in cheek. Oh, yeah. It's definitely uh, four for the cars. If he catches the ball outside the ring, it's, it's not out though, is it? If he catches the yeah. ball, he can't catch the ball out. Well, he, if he jumps in the air, parries it back. Throws it back in yeah. the air, yeah. And there's another fielder waiting. I've seen that. It's an amazing manoeuvre, that, doesn't it? Oh, some great athleticism. Yeah. Might be one over after this before, innings, uh, before it 
close of day. So take one more single to the total. Three, two, six for nine. No, you can't no, no. big special catches um, where they've been outside the boundary after powering it and then um, <coughs> put it inside and caught. One more down to long on. Another run down to long on, just basically giving up runs at the moment. Uh, North Shore ends the over three two eight for nine. Time to pay the bills here, David. Yeah. In Roskill's sponsors, Pro Water Blasting, Reliance Forex, Speedy Signs, and um, uh, oh look at that! It tells me Barfoot and Thompson, uh, Mount Roskill. Whereas uh, North Shore's main sponsor is uh, Barfoot and Thompson as well. I hear the reserves, though, they do like their wild buck drinks. I was uh, talking to one of their spinners last week. Could this be the last over? This will be the last over at 6.29. So we don't know. Hold it. Well, the umpires will tell them, because they're the ones in charge, as Jahol gets us out to cover, and they'll pick up two. When I went to go hit balls, there were cars almost literally from here backed up to the high road. Luckily, I was going in the opposite direction. I don't know where they would go. Been there. You've been there? No. No, I've only ever been to Australia and Japan. As Jahol clips off his pad through mid wicket. And I'll pick up two. Yeah, I think everyone sort of just dropped. <laughs> At the moment, Vessel's still going though, the only pace bowler in the North Shore attack. Into his 22nd over. His four to his name, looking for his fifth. Joel winds up. And. His six runs. Big shot down the ground. And. Yep, he, he was definitely targeting them. Moves to 51. Well, that's important to know. Yeah, no, no, I was looking Wait, myself. Me, so it's 50 coming up. Oh, 52 balls, four sixes in there. No, that was a, I've heard you. Just give me a moment because I'm looking. Next ball down the ground. And call for two from Zeb. And they get there. Oh, and they'll get a third overthrow. Three forty-one for nine. I'll get another single down the ground, down to mid wicket. Sorry. Oh well, well done. I've just got an information piece of information saying it is Purple Poppy Day today. It honours and remembers the animals that have served during wartime. Very much unwittingly. As I'll take two, shite the stumps is wild. And I'll actually get a third again. Ends the over, ends the day. 
Eden Roskill Pro Water Blasting 345 for 9. We'll close the play. Alright, next week uh, I'll just need to be looking at my options and uh, might be back here, but um, the highlights will be posted at some point. So I'm trying to get through all the um, other stuff that I've been doing. Beth's Broadcasting Official. Until then, folks, take care.